Yes, good morning. Welcome to Straight Up for today. Second of October. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Soon come back to the second of October. Ah. Uh, we have had um, some, a couple guests this week. Yesterday we had uh, Mark Wignall. Day. I think Monday we had Dr. Delia. Mark. Uh, Daniel. Dr. Delia, Mark Daniel. And tomorrow we're going to have, we're supposed to have some people from this um, social, you know, this uh, negotiation to agree to some social contact contract some agreement between various sectors of the society private sector and workers and various sectors of the society to take some responsibility for some future planning and future sacrificing for the benefit of the economy and the community of Jamaica tomorrow Supposed to have Professor Alvin Wint here tomorrow. And Miss Kenesha Kelly, the youth representative. And Mr. Christopher Zaka of the private sector. And Mr. O'Neill Grant, who is president of the Civil Service Association. Tomorrow. Repeating go all right Friday. A lady on a newscast last night, which was reporting the death of a the finding of the body of a 13-year-old girl in Trelawney was missing from days before. As the lady said, look at the number of police cars down there now. A whole lot of police cars was parked at the scene where the, the little girl body was found. 13-year-old girl, eight, grade 8 student at a high school. Because this lady and many others had reported to the police when the little girl went missing. And to her... From her account, them brush her off like how they brush off people frequently when people go to report crime or people go to report scenes where police can prevent a crime that seems like it's about them. Brush her off. Say that information not good enough. Brush her off. And she said, look at the number of police cars down there now. That's what them do best. Look at the amount of yellow tape them draw around the scene. That's what they do best. Process crime scene. That's what them do best. Them not prevent crime best, or them not hold criminal best. What them do best is process crime scene and tape off area with yellow tape and have a whole heap of police car converge upon the scene. And them spend all half day down there. Most of them not doing nothing, walking up and down, conversing with different people, trying to walk past the camera so them can, them face can be seen. When one of them being interviewed, a couple of them, just like the rest of the public, walking past the camera three or four times like some idiot or some of them political, political campaign, even some cocktail party, even a Roger Clark funeral. Them interviewing one of the politician. And you see some of the idiot, there's some big belly man has stuffed them out. And now walk past the camera. All of a sudden, when him behind the, when him in front of the camera, he must stop and tie him shoelace. And he must look up. He you know the camera meanwhile the time surely is. Because I want to spend as much time as possible with the camera seeing him. And him walk past and him walk past again. Well, same like how them idiot there. Most spend time walking past the camera, stopping behind the person being interviewed so that them face can show up in at the interview. And that people can say to them, say, Mr. Pan TV, man. I stuff your mouth at Roger Clark funeral. Matter of fact, I was in your mouth, I stuff. You stuff your, be your belly through your mouth. You stuff the food through the window. Like how people stuff things through the window. In a supermarket and look how you go around the corner go collect them outside of the window. You stuff your belly. And I see you in a, the picture of Roger Clark funeral. Well, that's what the lady say. That's what them do best. Process crime scene. Process crime scene. And tie off place with yellow tape. Well, that is nothing to them. Just like a 13-year-old girl. Next thing here, so she was careless. Anyway, that is that. Now, um, up in Maryland, top Maryland, that is in St. Andrew, the road, 
off the Irish Town Road, you turn off when you go to Maryland before you reach Irish Town, before you reach what them place up the name again, Strawberry Hill and them place there. Maryland, I call it Top Maryland. You can drive this on giant up back and drive down a back road and reach back in a Norbrook too. Up in Top Maryland, in the square, for months now, there's a light post about to drop down in the way of people passing by or people standing up or drop down from people. A light post, a JPS light post, I hear it is. And there's one little guy wire. You know the wire that balance it. That wire don't hold up the post, you know. That wire just balance the post. You usually have more than one. One pulling in one. One attaching one direction and the other one attaching the other direction to kind of help in case of emergency. Those wires are just there for emergency, you know. That if the post start drop down, it balance it a little bit and give some time. Well, it's months and months now that light post up in Maryland is about to drop down. And it's being held by one little guy wire here. Uh, if and when it dropped down, and if and when somebody get killed by it, whether it's a little child or an adult, that killing is supposed to result in a manslaughter charge. Manslaughter. Since you don't want to charge them with murder, they're supposed to charge with manslaughter. And guess who's supposed to charge with manslaughter? If and when that light post up in a Maryland drop down and kill somebody with a passerby or a bystander. Somebody standing by or somebody passing by get killed by that light post in Top Maryland Square. Resulting in the manslaughter of that person. Who's supposed to charge? I want you to call in and give me a guess and tell me who must be charged. Because it has been reported for months now. Months and months and months. Being reported to it's supposed to report to. Uh, well, as I said, today, 2nd of October, is a day that um, when I remember the date, it gave me some satisfaction. Why it gave me some satisfaction? Because of something that, um, something that was accomplished on that date. Not on that day, you know, because today is the 2nd of October 2014. It was accomplished on that date some years ago. I give me some satisfaction, motherfucker. At 27 years ago, 22nd of October two, um, 1987, that's a 27 year. So, um, it give me some satisfaction. Motherfucker, it give me. It gave me some satisfaction, long lasting, more than um, the kind of satisfaction that I used to get them time. Eh? Them time I used to get satisfaction out of smoking, light things and drawing on my lungs. And when I draw it on my lungs, that is one of the most direct routes for things to reach in your blood, is if you dry it through your lungs. Because your blood, I think, I think your blood passed through your lungs in order to take in for the, for the, for the lungs to for, for mix in the oxygen, something like so. And therefore, the same route where the oxygen is supposed to go in your blood, blood the things where you dry in your lungs can reach in your blood too. So when we smoke, <coughs> some of the ingredients of the smoke going in my lungs used to give me a certain effect, you know, because it going in my lungs. And then going on my bloodstream and then the blood carried through in my brain. And when my brain gets some of them substance, my brain feel a little way good for a few seconds. Sometimes it might feel a little way good for a few minutes. Or if it's really toxic, might feel good for a few hours. When it's really toxic, you know what toxic means? Toxic means things are a poison. You know? But sometimes... The things were poisonous. It might also sweet before it's sour, so you still feel toxic. And when you're toxic to, a, to an extent where you don't have no control over your thinking or your action, then call that intoxicated. So it used to make me feel good, 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 man, for a little while. Then after it made me feel good, now it let you down. 
it feel like it carrying you up. And then afterwards, you no, know, after it um, level off and wear out, you feel let down. So what you have to do now? You have to go for some more. If you want to feel that way again. But it, it, spend, it, it take up a lot of time. It take up a lot of time, so... It will take away your time to take away some of your time. Well, at that day, they stop smoking. You know? Yeah, man. Stop smoke. I stop smoke certain kind of things earlier in the year. In the May 1987. But finally, upon the 2nd of October, I light a cigarette. And when I light the cigarette, I take about three drawers off of it. It's not that I didn't have on three drawers, you know. The cigarette never have on three drawers. I mean, light it and I burn it. And take one draw off of it, and then take a next draw, and then take a third draw. So I take three, the, the, the expression is that you take a draw off of the cigarette. And if you take the draw three times, the same draw you take, you know. Them, so you take three draws off of it. Well, I may take about three draws off of the cigarette, and I could have neither taste it. Nor smell it, nor feel it. Fortunately for me, that made me feel so disgusted that I out the cigarette, and I don't light any more from that. Neither cigarette, nor spliff head, nor spliff tail. I don't light no more from that, and it is a it gave me a great deal of satisfaction, greater feeling of satisfaction, greater than the chemical them. That used to give me some temporary satisfaction for a few seconds or a few minutes or a few hours. But as I said, it made me feel disgusted that I pay my money for the cigarette, pay my money for the matches, and light the cigarette and take off three drawers of it. And still couldn't taste none of the draw them, or even smell none of the draw them, or even feel none of them. But it's a long time I was planning for that, you know, to reach that stage there. So when I finally reached that stage, I felt such a feeling of relief, knowing that I'm not going to light up nothing and dry it through my lungs again. Yet, you know, there is great application of chemicals through inhaling it in your lungs, and it gives you relief from asthma and other Drawing of chemicals and substance through your lungs and going into your bloodstream give you relief from sickness, from feeling upset, stomach upset, and on and throw up, give you great relief. And there's other application where you draw, this, you draw certain substance in your lungs and it mixes in your blood and go in your brain, go in your body and give you relief from, um, give you relief from other things like loss of appetite. So there's ways. There's ways to apply medication to yourself through your lungs that is beneficial to you. And if you like it, if you like to draw different substances in your lungs and it gives you a nice feeling, that is your right to do so. Not talking about saying, telling you that you mustn't smoke. I only tell you, say, it was such a great relief after 25 years smoking to get no pleasure out of smoking and then you now after that me know that it wasn't going to give me no trouble cause I will not be lighting no more not buying no more cigarette not buying nothing else with smoke now if I walk up and down with no matches and going to feel alright feel satisfaction so it feel good cause sometimes I look back just like what the other day um, daily Harris after them fire from the Ministry of Youth and Culture. She respond to a question. Can you think of three things today that you can give thanks for? Yes, she did respond. And said, well then, many, her, one of the things that give her great pleasure is that her mother, the teacher from she young, that don't bother compete with other people for outer beauty. Because the things are inside of you. You have so much other beautiful things inside of you, you have to feel away comparing yourself with other people whose skin look beautiful. Well, I say, you know, it gave me, it, it derived me great pleasure when I remember this date here. When I reached this date here, I remember that that is a day that I did come to 
the fulfillment of something that I was looking forward to a long time. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to reach that day when I have no more difficulty resisting the smoking habit. No more difficulty whatsoever. And you know, say, for years after that and for decades after that, you have companions of mine, brethren and sisters, for decades after that, trying to convince me to take another draw. Because they want company. Them still a draw this and them still a draw that and them feel away when I am there reasoning with them, enjoying the conversation with them, enjoying the music with them, enjoying the food with them, enjoying the journey with them. And enjoying many things with them. Them enjoying themselves. Me enjoying myself. And I not drawing nothing. And them feel away for no say. If them not draw something, the beach with them, they put not go so nice. And yet there's a couple other people there on the beach with them, enjoying the beach. Not drawing nothing, but just taking the beach and taking them company. So them kind of feel lonely. So them always trying to get you back now to work. Smoke something, man. Or sometimes them not try to make you feel away. Eh? Say, so, well then. I threw your head light, man. That's why you can't. That's why you can't smoke, or that's why you have to stop smoking. Your head light. Well, it's not everybody can handle this thing, you know. Because when your head light, you can't handle it, you know. But them try to make you feel away. Say, so, I light your head light, make you can't. Make you can't handle smoking cigarettes, or you can't handle smoking herbs, or you can't handle. Taking in some coke, or you can handle buying one race or stick it, or you can, anything with them handle. If you can handle it, them say so uh, light your head light. Try to make you feel away. Because you're not feeling away, you feel alright. So you will find that, um, you will find that people might discourage you if you find yourself being able to shape your life. Many people feel uncomfortable when they witness other people acquiring the ability to shape them life because most human beings never quite make it in the attempt to shape their own life. So most human beings life is shaped for them by fashion or by community or by so called society. So some people know. Some people not comfortably for um, if you find your way and find yourself um, acquiring the ability to shape your life. Make them feel uncomfortable. But you mustn't try to crow over them neither. It's not good for you to crow over them and go on like you so great because you are you are able to shape your life or you are able to um, control control yourself more than they might be able to or more than it seem like they might be able to so I'm not going to crow over it or boast over it I'm not going to boast not going to help you well thank you very much for listening to me so what are you going to know run the numbers because there are some people who don't know the numbers yet and therefore they are at a disadvantage as against other people who know the numbers and therefore, some of the other people who know the numbers, they hear them four or five times for the program. And you trying to call and can't get through. So we're going to run the numbers for you. You should have got enough time by now to reach for a pencil, reach for a paper, reach for a pen. Or reach for your memory. Because it's not hard to memorize seven numbers. And we're going to run the numbers. Thank you very much. Straight up. For straight up, we have a choice of numbers. 702 702-3470. 702-2585. 702-2585. 977-7638. 977-7638. 12 line 1-888-991-5155. 1-888-991-5155 Digicel number 618-1823 
Did you sell? 6181823. All straight lines. Text line 899-7657. Text line 899-7657. We also stream live at www.newstalk93fm.com www.newstalk93fm.com Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host, Jerry Small. And um, here we go. Welcome. Yeah, hello, morning. Morning, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, man, good. Jerry, I don't want to stray from the topic that you started out with this morning, but there is a burning thing that I, I was, I've been monitoring on the news and I've been doing some research. Yeah. I called her the other day, I think it was the day before yesterday, and I spoke to you about Ebola. Yeah. I kind of broke down and gave some basic information so probably people who are not familiar with it can have an idea yeah. but um for the past i think about two days ago a person in the united states they've had their first case in the united states where they have actually identified it there although it was it was imported a guy traveled from Liberia to the u.s and he entered the country and was there for about four days or so before the symptoms started showing he went to the hospital they sent him back home and then he went back in and they did test, and it has been proven that he is positive to so, Ebola. I am now saying, um, I do not know if the government has anything in place for screening of, um, of, 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 of people entering our shores. And the other thing that it concerns me is, um, how would we deal with a scenario like this if we should have an outbreak in Jamaica? One. Uh, it cannot be dealt with in a similar manner like how they deal with the health issues like the chicken gun or whatever because this is a deadly thing. Two, every single patient who is 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 uh, suspected of having this this virus has to be isolated. You know what I mean? Or quarantined. If it has been confirmed that the person has it, that person has to be quarantined differently from those who are suspected. Um. I was also reading some online where they went on to say that um, even the, 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 the things that they use to, 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 to in, in the hospitals where these people are, they have to be destroyed immediately, immediately after. You know what I mean? All, all that. So there's a whole lot of questions. I don't see anybody talking about it, I mean, in, in government or anything like that. So you know what? I realize that we as citizens, we have to do our research and we have to do what we have to do in taking the necessary precautions, informing ourselves and, and so that we can be aware of what is happening and take the necessary precautions. Because obviously we can't rely on those who are in authority to do what they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? So that's just what I want to share with, with you this morning. And I want people out there, whatever information they can get, if they can read up, they can go online, they can read the newspaper, whatever, or talk to people in the medical or the healthcare who may be informed of these things so we can be as informed as possible. Well, you know that um, everybody who come in contact with them, especially doctors, everybody who come in contact with them, once them are, they are infected, they, those people have to be protected by the, unif the, um, the uniform that cover them from head to toe, apart from destroying all things that the people been wearing a whole lot of things i don't know how much of them thousands of suits of that equipment them have already one thing i know or almost certain of you might have to have a minister of health to deal with ebola one for deal with chicken going on, and another one for deal with different things because one one swallow not going to do it let's go for a break thank you very much yes sir straight up Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host, Jerry Small, and welcome to the, to the programs. Hello? Robin, Robin Jerry Small, good morning. Morning, how are you doing? Yeah, you're cool. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, up and moving. But me, me need to have a little reasoning with you. But first, I want to say, you see what the lady said last night about the police? Why is it, it is so true? Yeah. When you see a, a, a black woman can come out, I explain something just simple as that to yeah. make you see the perfect view. Yeah. She just pint over there and says, see the whole heap of vehicle in there, that them with yeah. the yellow tape, you know what I say? And I say, yeah, that's so what the thing said for real. But another matter now, Jerry, about a couple of days ago I told you that the chick thing did leak me. Yeah. But we didn't have the, you know, me get over it and so forth. 
Well, on my way to the hospital with a friend of mine who had the symptoms for over a week or so now. When I took her to the university hospital, on my way there, I was listening to your program. When I reached there, I took her in the place, flooded, because I get to understand that it has been a regular occurrence for the past couple of weeks. We have a lot of persons coming in. But listening to your program, I heard a lady come on and say that it is um, not affecting other races. And so I would like to say publicly on your station now, Jerry, that that is a lie. Because I saw Indians and Chinese up there in the same area waiting with the same symptoms. Yeah. So there's nothing to do with race or class. Let me tell you what is the problem with the beginning of this thing, Jerry. Yeah. Even me, that I look by and say, boy, it's not a massive thing. But let me tell you what really happened. You see, if the authorities which was in place was upfront and forthright and educate persons about this thing, they wouldn't have this wild scenario of all type of conspiracy theories and all type of things going around. You understand me, Jerry? Yeah, including, the main including, concept. including supporters, political supporters of the minister going so far as to say, not only is political propaganda, but only all who catch it are labor right. And no PNP no catch it. And, uh, you know them kind of, you know? You understand what I Jerry? That is what caused the mistrust and the misinterpretation. People all go as far as to say the plane will crash with the two rich people and carry you, you know all them stupidness. I mean, chicken gun has been around for a while. Yeah. That then, person from Guyana called me and told me that this thing was going on. I said, boy, I'm glad it's not reach China because it sounds terrible. But see, it reach China now, Jerry. All right, hear me you now. Hear me now. You know that another thing that is contagious like that? Mm. Another thing that is contagious like that? Is racism. Right. Racism. So, the lady might think, say, only African can get it, and it has been sent out against African. And after thinking about it and talking a few times, if some people agree with her, she might think it even stronger. But when you take a stock, that is the way that racism can tear just because other races think that kind of way. I just heard how a sick woman talking to the host of the program previous to this saying right. saying that um 70 percent of the republican party in america is homosexual and yet it is known that the party in america that fight on behalf of homosexual the most is the other party the democrat party that correspond to her party right well thank you very much yes sir yeah man cool Good morning and welcome to Straight Up Hello. Morning and welcome to Straight Up Hello. Are you there? Uh, yes, good morning. Uh, sir, I heard you. Good morning. Yes. Well, yes, sir. Welcome. Yeah, good morning again. Yes, sir. Um, the, 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 two last, the, the caller was called before the gentleman a while ago. He said pretty much everything I was calling to say because, you know, we can't, we can't trust them people if we tell you anything. And, you know, most Jamaicans nowadays have smartphones, tablets, um, and, and I just want to say that the tablet that, that Philip Paul will hand in out, coming in handy now because, you know, people need to go and do them research because we can't depend on them. Yeah. So really it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. You know, and that's all I want to say. Just go on the computer, use the smartphone instead of going to accident scene and taking photos of people and, and, and distributing on Facebook, which I think is pure nonsense. Use that same smartphone now and do your research we can't depend on them people. Because the chicken gun, yeah, from what I understand, it, they were talking about it from two years ago. And even even the, the mayor, if he was, I think the guy in St. Thomas and, and others, they were doing all kind of preparation and defense catching me and all of them going back and forth. And I can't understand from January, and I can't understand how come it was kept a best kept secret and, until when it become an end the epidemic now, then everybody running around. We still can't get a... a, 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 a press conference, we should get one from the Prime Minister, Minister of Health, other people in the health profession, telling us, you know, your rigorous drive, you know. Well, listen here now, like listen here now, listen here now. According to the Prime Minister philosophy, you see, if we are to accept the Prime Minister philosophy and, 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 and use it, because philosophy is something that, that is um, meant to be used to guide you in other areas. According to the Prime Minister philosophy, one of the reasons why Fenton and Ferguson 
getting a problem and one of the reasons why I'm not handling the whole thing as well as him should handle it is because I'm talk too much. In her philosophy, you don't talk so much it will get you in a trouble. You talk and talk and talk yourself out of power. Yeah. You talk and talk and talk yourself out of your ministry. You talk and talk and talk yourself out of the cabinet. I don't want to say anything more about it. Please, that, thank you very yeah. much. I have to go. Morning and welcome to Street Up, hello. Morning. Yes, sir. Yes, what's up, man? Fine, thank you. Yes, um, I was watching the TV last night, you see. Yeah. I saw a gentleman. He was in Manchester. Yeah. And Mr. Barrett. Yeah. And he was complaining about these mosquitoes. They have a drain yeah. down there, and it's near to our school, you know, and the little children. You know, yeah. our dear and so on. The principal was also complaining about it and so on. You know? Oh, you mean on Mr. Uh, on, 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 that, on the, the, the Anne Jackson Miller program? No, man. Oh. It was on um, the news. Oh. It was on the news. Yeah. The thank you, man. He complaining. He says he has to use so much gas oil to keep down these, these, these mosquitoes, which is a good thing and so on. You know what I mean? And cooking oil and all that sort of thing and so on. It's still not helping him. The man said, you know, Terry. You have to burn our smoke in his house and all that sort of thing, you know, to keep out these mosquitoes, you know. What is really happening? Where are these people, you know, I agree with your past two callers to say that well, we have to, 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 to do research for ourselves and so on and things like that. But it's just a nonchalant, you know. We have these, these, these people, you know, that come in. They, it, it's coming like that they are non-entities, you know what I mean? You mean, I really you how, much, how much you believe them add up to? How much they add up to? Mm. Um, zero. Well, well, um, these, all of these things is not bad, you know. What, what, yes. what these things, um, usually result in is that people realize that they have to take care of themselves and don't, yes. and don't rely on government yes. to um, take care of them. Because these gentlemen, why these drains, no, Jerry, why these drains have not been maintained and all that sort of thing and thing, right? And clean and so on. This gentleman has to be, has to be taking gas oil and putting in this thing and all that sort of thing. And the children are right there. What you I, do? Yeah? What you do? What I do? Yeah. I bush out my place and so on. I'm bush around and I'm bush the sidewalks and so on, you know. But, but, it, the, but the, um, the mosquito can breed next door in a, to your yard, you know. Well, yes, because there's a man that are a pool there and I've complained about it. And I don't know what they're doing about it. So bushing your, exactly. bushing your surroundings is great. Yes. But if you don't move along with the, with the other people who live up to 400 yards away from your yard, in every direction, you're going to have problems because as I heard an expert saying a few days ago that these mosquitoes don't usually fly more than 400 meters. Okay. So it's going to require some cooperation of circles of people making sure that their little circle, a, a radius, yeah. a radius of 400 meters or a half a quarter mile. But and some people not cooperate, you know, uh, among the because they would dump yeah. and land yes, and train things on the sidewalk and train yeah. that and so on and things like which, which um, contributes to this. Yes, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Good. But it forces, many times we are, mo most of the progress that take place in our earth come yes. as, a, as a result of people being forced to come together. Thank, thank, you, very, right. thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Yes, Jerry, good morning. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to talk to you for this long time. True, ma'am. Misty from Mobile. Yes, ma'am. Jerry, do you know we have a problem here in western Jamaica? Yeah. With all this chikungunya epidemic and Ebola coming, and we don't know what is coming next. You know you have some white men come, ho come here. And Jerry, you need to warn these young girls because they are getting themselves in some things where they don't even realize what they're getting to. Somebody showed me something yesterday and this pickable Mr. Jerry. And these men are doing some things to these young girls. I don't know how them get themselves involved in them something there. But Jerry, is a, is a you mystery. need to warn these girls. Hold on, hold on. It's a mystery to me too because I don't, I don't know what happened. I hear some, you have some young girl, I'm obvious. And I hear you have some white man come on my Yes. And I hear somebody show you something yesterday. Yes. But I don't know what to warn him about because I don't know what happened. These girls what think that they know if you work and if you go look work other ways and otherwise. Some terrible things that happen to them, Jerry, when they go to these men. Because what them go for, I know that the men them up to. 
But you may say only deep, I still can't figure out what I want. Kite only I get deep, but I can't sit down in it. Ah, they may never know how to put you on, Jerry. Why, why not? Why you can't tell me what they're doing and what the danger of the girls are? It has to do with sex, but I don't think of them something that they may up, go for. Based upon what I see, so I think so that's what they're doing that they're bargaining for. Hello, you're not, hello, why are you not talking plain? You're not cursing no bad word, you're not saying anything that... That can't be broadcast on the radio. All right, oral sex, then Jerry, in the most despicable way. Then what? The girl, them are Christopher Columbus? What do you mean? If I them discover, if I them just discover oral sex, through the no, white no, man, no, them come No, no, Jerry, and I'm not in ordinary, you know, me they talk about brute force and choking and killing and fig, I mean, fig do what, me no know. That are not sex. Well, all right. Okay, then. That's not sex. No, listen, I appreciate the call you're making, you know, but I'm telling you that the forcing of people to do things is not sex. It's a different thing. Happens. Some some um, some bondage and some torture take place, and the girl, them yes. never know. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, them, and, them, and you said them getting paid to do it. Most because what they No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no matter what. We don't want to deal with the excitement alone. We want to deal with fact. I ask if them getting paid to do it, and you are telling me must. That, that, what, would you allow me? Would you allow me? Hello, hello. Would you allow me? It is nice to hear things, you know, and things is exciting. But at the same time, I want to distinguish facts from excitement. So I, I ask you if these girls are getting paid for it, and you say must. But that sound like you don't know what you are saying. It them must be, but it don't sound like you really know if they're getting paid. Do you know or you don't know? Eh? Do you know or you don't know if they're getting paid? I don't know if they're getting then paid. Then why you say most? When you say most, maybe then they get paid, but me wouldn't shoot, me wouldn't know. No, when you say most, what? When I say most, yeah. maybe they would have get paid, but I would know. Me just say you telling. don't know, and yet you're saying most. And then how are you going to warn people? What are you going to warn people that way? What you going to warn them? young girl them to be careful. So how are you going to know, say, young girls be careful, and you think that's going to have any effect? Boy, I mean, I know, you know, but it, boy, I mean, I know. I will want to talk something exciting. No, man, that's some strange thing, we're very strange to me. Yes, but it's exciting because it's stimulating and then, me, hold on, hold on, somebody has talked to me, hold on, look, boy, I want to hear this, you know, I have to hear this, because this is exciting. You know them kind of way, eh? Are you boy, there? I mean, I even know Jerry, just this pickable to me as a mother. Yeah, but it's so exciting, though. No, you're not excited because I thought so. Okay, uh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad you realize. All right, well, I'm glad you realize that it is not sex, it is torture, and it's trickery going on. But I appreciate the call, and I, I'm going to help you warn them, warn them. Mind how you're running down money. Well, we have to go for a break, straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up, just before I take your call. From my youth, you know, <clears throat> from I was very young, I always... Marvel how some people love to watch horror movie every day. Every day them want to see horror movie. Some other people want to watch violence every day, every day, whole day, every day. And other people, you know, different things like that. I wonder how people enjoy those things. But people are, a lot of people are addicted to a lot of people are addicted to the um, the sensation of violence, the sensation of horror, the sensation of magic. Magic, you know. A lot of people are addicted to those things, and they usually get addicted to it when they are young. And it is usually introduced to them by older people. So there are many forms of addiction. And some people might think I am addicted to different things. They might be right too. But me always marvel about that thing there. How people are addicted to watching horror, violence, magic, dopey business. You know, you don't understand. But I know that is true though. So I don't have to understand it. But I just accept that now. Say. Some people are addicted to that. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, my brother. Hey, how are you doing? Not so bad. Look, you know, sometimes if you see a person express himself and we understand, you know, we can put it in the right context and say, yes, some madness going on in this country here. Yeah. We show the people, and it's only when they, when they are going to realize that when they have gone through the gate, 
yes, some things the people where some young girls doing, a young boys doing here you know, this time here, they have to know themselves and warn them blow the trumpet out. You know, know three of a talk. Say they must blow the trumpet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Say they must blow the trumpet out there. But that the no, lady said them are doing. Blow the trumpet out there, man, and you know, show them the right from wrong. Just like what that lady is talking about. The right way to blow the trumpet. Walla, walla, you walla. Walla, I'm not forget to say. You walla. You walla. You have to show them the right way to blow the trumpet. Yeah, she must. She is trying to help. You must help her to show the young people who are going the wrong way. The right way of life. Because this is something where you see a disease up in them young people. No people and know what type of disease people have and gone. Use them mouth like when you have to move tobacco. Okay. So what you must do, you... That's what she was talking about. Because so everybody who listening to her understand and know what she means. Yeah. So you must help her and tell the young people and say, be careful. Because not in medication in Jamaica you right now. And some type of disease you are broken in world. Don't try to make it fall upon you. And so. So, when we hear good argument, man, for the nation, we must help, help push it along the way. What do you have to say about that? Um, so what happened is that um, some some people come into Jamaica and enticing girls to go in privacy with them and perform some different some different um, exciting things or things that look exciting and when they take a start they making video out of them and then selling them abroad and what the girls thought that they were going to be asked to do is you other things. What? <clears throat> what she's trying to say, these young people nowadays are going into things they don't know. Coming just like you would walk in, uh, you ever see out of Portmore, the Portmore. And when they when them are born the cane, they are right, drive on the highway there. You have to take special precautions and say, boy, I'm not drive fast, you know, because I'm not going to make you buck up in the sun. You have to take time, open the hand, take me time. So those, the mad, the mad one, you know, you know, you boom up in your back, when you think. But... She's trying to tell us that the boy look here, be careful, no way you do. You understand? Because seeing a stranger and just perform certain things where you know the type of person to make money fool you. Oh, so and you must, almost, they must... They almost push the, uh, who know the right from wrong, must push, push, push the right into the, to the nation. Yeah, I get you. Thank you, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, man, I get you. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Cool, take it easy. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello, are you there? That one ready? Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Yes, yes, come on, come. Yes, sir, where are you? Welcome. Man, yeah, I saw that um, that thing, it's been circulating on the phones with the, with the white people, um, white man, them doing those things. Doing what things? Okay. Sending the small head so far, so hard, so far down to the throat that the girls start to vomit. Then she started to vomit and box her up, squeeze her throat, yeah. bring it again and she vomit again and box her up. Okay, so her. hold on you now. That is done in Jamaica. That is done in Jamaica and there's obviously somebody doing the video, somebody else is doing the video. And it's yes, circling. all right. All Jamaica. So tell me something now. You're from the girl talking and the accent and the surroundings of the room, because, <clears throat> excuse me, there are certain peculiarities in, 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 in many countries where you can look at the furniture or look at the room below or the burglar bar below and you know, say, boy, this, that is Jamaica, right? Sure. And you might hear the girl accent or you might, you might, and it, all right. And you're seeing, what is one video you're seeing or is several, right? Well, there were several of them, but I couldn't watch more than about half of the first one because yeah. it, was, it was really bad news. I mean, and I hear that they were promised, they were contracted for a thousand US each and then when they got the thousand US, it was all counterfeit. Yeah. Then now, I'm thinking that very likely, this is, these are white people that probably them auntie or them mother get um, scammed for almost 1,000 U.S. And they decide to come down here and, and, and teach Jamaicans a lesson. That's the only thing I can logically conclude that it could cause this. No, but you don't believe that um, when they video these things, you don't believe that them sell them. You don't believe them sell it. You don't believe them make money off of it. They probably do. They, I imagine. I imagine so. I imagine so, but it's a despicable site and it's circulating all over the cell phones of Jamaica. Yeah. So take care, my brother. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, morning. Yes, sir. Welcome. How are you doing? All right. Ask a question. 
the chick B virus or Ebola goes to on the radar now. Yeah. You say any, any, any reported cases in Europe? No, I've not heard of that. So it's in the Americas and it's in Africa, but I don't hear of any in Europe yet. No, I don't hear of it. I don't hear of that. And um, where it is, the places that it that it is, are the places that you hear of it being after a while. Some of them have to do with the travel of people from one place to the other place. Yes, sir, last night I was listening to a program on news staff that I'm called the Marketplace. Yeah. And I heard a reporter say that the reason why there is no vaccine and no effective therapy for Ebola and certain other diseases is that the big drug companies don't see it worthwhile financially to invest in, in, in research and development to come up with any vaccine. Yeah. As the argument is that this is really poor countries being affected and them can't afford it, them go invest money in coming up with with vaccines and support the, 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 the people cannot afford to buy the job. Yeah. So who are you saying that? Uh, it was, you, you know, the program in the marketplace. Yeah, but who was it? Who was it speaking? I don't remember the name. When I turn on to the program... The it was one of the people who hosted the program or they were yes, giving... Yes, 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 oh, yes. Was saying that. And, and you know where they got that from? Um, but they were interviewing people from drug companies as well, too. Yeah. And then now, uh, it crossed my mind where it's about the Bill Gates donating how much, how much million to yeah. the Ebola thing. Yeah, but more importantly, I'm glad you bring up that. More importantly is that I want you to try to see if over the next couple of days you can find that Bill Gates interview and look at it yourself. I need to discuss it with somebody who has watched it. You can do that to me? Yeah, although the chick we have me away right now still. Yeah, man, but but over the next couple of years, I want to do that. I need to discuss with some people who watch it. One person so far tell me so much. But thank you very much. Here, sir. All right, cool. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, welcome. Straight Up, hello. Hello? Yes, welcome. Morning, sir, small. How are you doing? How are you doing? Fine, thank you. I'm actually calling from on campus. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man, and this is the first I'm calling any radio station, in, but I couldn't help it. Yeah, how I come? I just call to tell you thanks, because you never fail to get me to laugh, man. Ah, uh, true, you man. You just have this straight, blunt way of putting things. Yeah. Yeah, so thanks a lot, yeah? Boy, some... Keep, up, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. All I'll... right, then, yeah. thanks. I'm so glad for that call here, because some other people... Claim some do the same thing on it and make people vomit. But anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Have another one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yes, man. Morning. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, tell the gentleman that Marketplace is a, is a program produced by National Public Radio in America. So oh. America oh. Mm-hmm. National, are you there? Yeah, man, National Public Radio in America. Yeah, some very interesting program come over it. Mm-hmm, but he must say a new, um, on news and whatever it is. It, it was, it, yeah, it's new stock, they broadcast it. Yeah, man, mm-hmm, but it's National Public Radio. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, thank you very much. You have anything else to say? We have a few more seconds. Are you I there? Know, later, later I call about my uh, regular listener. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, so well then, um, we only have a few seconds left and um, we're going to take the rest of your have a call here. No, no, we're not going, we wouldn't be able to do much with it. Well, we're about to go now for the 10-year headline news, straight up. Good morning with the latest headlines. I'm Kayla Wright. Minister of Youth and Culture Lisa Hanna has reiterated her call for Jamaicans to break the silence on abuse of the nation's children on the heels of a report of a 26% spike in the number of cases of sexual abuse reported last year. According to the 2013 statistics compiled by the Office of the Children's Registry, 11,018 reports of child abuse were received and of that figure 8,679 were cases being reported for the first time. Addressing the opening session of a child sexual abuse workshop hosted by the Women's Leadership Initiative recently, the minister called on Jamaicans to report cases of abuse and refrain from silencing the abused children. 
The Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, Paula Llewellyn, has instructed the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, to collect additional statements in one of the cases in which members of the police force are accused of being part of a death squad in Clarendon. The matter was raised in court on the case against Sergeant Mario Taylor and Constable Shannon Allen. They are among 11 officers charged by Indicom in the death squad probe. The officers who are attached to mobile reserve are accused of the murder of Adolphus Reeder, who was shot during an alleged confrontation with the police along Sevens Road in Clarendon on February 28th of last year. Indicom claimed the gun reportedly taken from the deceased was also linked to an attack at the Maypen Hospital in which a patient was killed by two masked men. Two other policemen have been charged in the hospital shooting. And as many as 100 people in Texas are being checked for potential exposure to Ebola. Health officials say only 12 to 18 people, including five children, are known to have had a direct contact with the Ebola patient, Thomas Eric Duncan, who contracted it in Liberia. Four of his relatives have been ordered to stay home while they are watched for signs of the disease. Duncan was diagnosed with the disease on Tuesday and is in a serious condition in hospital. He was the first case diagnosed outside of Africa where more than 3,300 people have died in the Ebola outbreak. And those are the stories making the latest headlines. News next at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned. Straight up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Wright. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up into the second hour of our program today, the 2nd of October. And we soon take some of your text messages, but in the meantime, the other phone calls. Good morning. Welcome again. Straight up. Morning. Yes, sir. How are you? Do? Fine. Thank you. This Ebola thing, you see? Uh-huh. They are saying that this person is the first person ever to show signs of Ebola in America. Yeah, you what they U- saying? USA mainland, yeah. Mainland. So how come then, how come then the other states have talk to... Yes, I was talking to you. I was telling him that there's an outbreak of Ebola in Virginia, a laboratory. In a laboratory? Yeah. You mean they are, they are studying it or cultivating it? No, what them do, what they, yeah, they were studying something about it. And the monkey that they were using, uh, the, 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 what the, the, the monkey they're using, right? Yeah. In that lab in Reston, yeah. right? Came from the Philippines, didn't come from Africa. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. the laboratory workers... They caught it as well. It was in the, they didn't kill him, but it was in the blood, and they had to lock the place down. You got that on the news? No, Jerry, I remember that. I was telling you about it. Yes, yes. When that happened? That happened in 89. 89? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and they had to, they had to uh, take out, call out SWAT team. So hear me now. Hold on, hear me now. When there's an epidemic, you see? Mm. The reference to the epidemic or the reference to the first case of the epidemic in a certain landmass or in a certain political boundary mm. is usually the first case in this present epidemic. It, it, so, well, Anna, well, Anna, yeah, if there were yellow fever epidemics before, and for years they don't have one, and then now one starts somewhere else, and then the first case emerged in America this year, mm. you, you know, usually refer to saying that one time it did happen here 10 years ago. Right. It is accepted that this is the first um, case of Ebola in this epidemic, epidemic present now in this year. Well, no, no so let me say then, Jer. Well, I agree that them can be more specific. They just can't say it's the first case ever. I don't know if, I don't know if they said ever. Well, that's important. I heard them, I, I, I usually hear first case. Mm. And first case don't usually mean first case ever. That's mm. why, that's why you qualify things, like when you pray for something. If you did pray for it two years ago, you pray for a new dresser. Yeah. And you get it, but it's never good. And it mm. mash up. And you pray for your next one this year. Yeah. You, you might don't, but I say forever and ever after when the prayer done. Because, because, because you did get one one time. Yeah, I agree with you. But if it's the first year, I get it now. Then if you make it, listen. No, but that's why I ever use in certain situations, uh, ever nobody use another situation is you must know when to say forever, never. I uh, you for know when to say amen. But you know, you have to make it act like say Ebola is a total African thing, right? Who, who so, are making it look so? No, when it's about Ebola, mm. you, you associate Africa with Ebola, right? 
uh, generally speaking, the way yeah. the way the propaganda goes out. Yeah. It's like an Afghan thing, right? Mm. Right? But the Philippine monkey have it to Jerry, Ebola restaurant. You have it, you have it, you have, have it. You have Ebola. Listen. It's it when Ebola was discovered, right? In the Democratic Republic, right? Yeah. Right? What what how it gets the name Ebola? I don't know, but it you know it brings to mind. The Ebola River. Yeah. Oh, it's a true? Yes, the Ebola River runs through to the Democratic Republic and it was near there. Which That's republic, Ola? Which republic? See, it's right here. De Democratic Republic. Of Congo, yeah. Oh. Right? <clears throat> so you have, you have Ebola, Zaire, you have Zola, Sudan, and you have Ebola, Reston. Reston is Virginia where the lab was done. Oh. Where the lab is. Reston, Virginia. Yeah. So they discovered in the, the, the monkeys that came from the Philippines. Yeah. Right? Um, well, you know, you know propaganda go. Yeah, but don't act like so. No, it's Africa thing. No, but you know, about to tell you, you know, how propaganda go. Propaganda go. Them are going like a whole of them are going um, suspect arm um, action too. Yeah. You know, so them slight news. Yeah. yeah. Like for them bowl and a bowl. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what I say, unless we as an African people yeah. start finding our real self and, and, and re our history. Yeah. Right? We can get contaminated, Jerry. But you know, get one in a long time, man. The lion did done say. If him did um, if them did a published film history, the hunting story wouldn't go like how um like how we have it say. Mm. That oh, is why America so good for the Ebola because they've been doing this thing for a long time. But I'm telling you that I wanted to take in Bill Gates interview. Not because you because there. sometime when you hear people sending out foreign aid. Mm. The foreign aid help them wow, it help you getting it. Because what them really doing is studying you. Sometimes them lend you money for study how people turn fool when them get money for borrow. And then yeah. when them study that now, it help them one who it help you we get the money for borrow. So them have you in a lab and you don't know more time. You know why I'm going you know no, to I, 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 I can't stay much longer. All right, Jerk. But yes, that, call again. Yeah, man. Thank cool. you very much. When, when it, good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, welcome. Good morning, Mr. Small. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? Not bad. Mr. Small. Yes, ma'am. People know why we are closed. They expose all part of them body and under we are exposed. Everything exposed. But guess what? No. Yeah. They must go start cover up now. Because of um, what? Chicken gunia. It's not that one make you have to cover up. Mr. Small, may I ask you something now? Yeah. You watch TV sometime, right? Yeah. You ever see the lionfish? Yes, ma'am. Uh, All right. May I'll eat them too. The mosquito now. The color where the, where the lionfish have. No, I see them color the mosquito have. It's not the color, man. It's the pattern from the leg, them. Make, with well, some man, stripe, man. stripe. Not the well, no, no, man. May I come to something, you know? Yeah. You see the, the tiger fish? Yeah, yeah. Where you see the, the white spot? Mm -hmm. And you see the... Mosquito, where you see the white spot? I know white spot, a, a, a black and white go down, go down, down them leg like striped socks. Right. Those are the things that when them in the lab and the laser light on them yeah. and so on, so when it let out, them have a different... When house. what let out? Remember that them said the mosquito was in a lab? Yes. You know, I know where you're going here. You no, know. I don't know what's going on. So when them in the lab, what let out? Them have a different mark from our own thing. So who is the lab mark them? The laser light that's on them, Mr. Small, with whatever them do to them. I don't know. I use car. Penetrate. I use car merchandise them. All right. Like when me, buy, me go somewhere, me buy all a used part. They, me say them spray something for it. And if you go, you go pull it. Uh, and I try to bring it back. Come tell them, say, no good. Them know, say, you, you pull it because the, the paint chip away from the nut and the bolt. You understand me? Small. That's small. Every disease born out of Africa. Don't. You could not tell me something like that, ma'am. No, may I just ask you? No, ma'am, no, ma'am. And uh, every disease born from Africa. Then Asian flu born in Africa, too? Where well, Asian there? Oh, no, Asian is an island near to it. No, Asian is an island near to it. What I say Asian? I say Asian. Asian flu. Asian, Asian different from Asian, Asian you know. What we will must remember is... No, but it's not a disease born in Africa, because Asian flu born in Asia. A Hong Kong flu born in Africa, too. What we must remember, you know, Mr. Small. Yes, ma'am. That 
plenty negative disease come from negative things. Exactly. Number one, True. you do something on the earth and it go up in the air, it fall on the tree and it fall in the water. Do something like what? If you have a boom or a poisonous boom yeah. or you put too much fertilizer in it and you run back to the sea, remember the sea and everybody connect together. Yeah. To make we have life, yeah. right? Yes, and, and it rise up, it evaporate and go up to the air, make clothes. When those things go on the tree and go in the water, you have animal, you have insect, you have reptile that also a part of that too. Yeah. People can't get food to eat. They eat like monkey, snake, all type of something. Monk. We trade that in a them body and them body al already have a poisonous substance in it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So all the sickness that we are going through is what we did and this Ebola thing. I want to know if it catch Jamaica because let me tell you something. I don't trust Jamaica government. I don't trust and not no say I don't trust the doctor. But the doctor them tell lies to cover up. You understand me? You have, and you have doctor with pull teeth just to so get money, you know, when your teeth never want to pull. And you know. if it in Jamaica, it's only when certain doctor or certain nurse dead from it, they are going to release it. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Part three. Later. Part three. Oh. Yeah, later. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning, sir. Welcome. How are you doing? Well, I'm still here now live. I give thanks. Is you the call from England already? <laughs> well, you might have thought that I call from England, but I'm in J.A. But you, you are British, though? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Professor Paul... How long Collier. you come? How long you came? Eh? How long ago you come? 2011, just after the election. Oh, because if, if, it, if it had come within the last four days, we would have a screen, you Oh, see there? I am fortunate. Yes. Professor Paul Collier from Oxford University, England, stated in his book that diseases that may primarily impact on poor regions do not get the support from Western Drugs Company because they will not be able to recoup their investment, investment. Oh. because the region is poor, poor, and research and development cost money. Yeah. Yes, that's what he says. In, 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 that is what he says in his book. Yes. Oh. And also, uh, yes. if if too if you if you clear up the disease, maybe if you clear up the disease too quickly. Yes. Enough numbers of people won't have it that can pay back for the thing because if a million people have it, it will more. If a million people have it and a quarter out of that buy the, the medicine, it will more pay back for the research yeah, more it's more than money, more yeah. than if the if the medicine gets out too early or if it clear up the disease too quick, only five thousand people get it. So it's yeah. like it's like when somebody making a new car. Ah. They have to project and um, have an idea how many of these cars will sell or how many years they have to make the car before they make Recoup their investment. Oh. Yes. It's all about investment. And returns on your investment. Absolutely. And drugs is no different at all. And Professor Paul Collier is a professor on economics. Oh. Yes. And advisor to the World Bank. I see. Yes, so he knows what he's talking about. Yes, yes. So, another time. Thank you very much, yes, sir. You're welcome. Thanks for the information. Good morning and uh, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, Jerry. Hey, how are you doing? Well, thank God for life. We're still here, yeah? You're still here? Thank God for life. We're still alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah, man. Because we could have gone, you know. Now how come is how come in, how you not sure that it, how come you so sure that it's not on the other side you are now? No man, I'm sure. Eh? I'm sure I'm in the living. And I uh, and the land of the living. I never yes, I never said that. But no, I said the other side. Which side? Eh? Which side? And the other side. Yes you, you still have the same phone number? Yeah man. Alright. 
you, you were talking about that American who donated something. What do you call him again? Bill Gates. Yeah, Bill Gates. Mm. I think he's up on the BBC website, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because they are missing from BBC. No, that man they give interview almost every day, you know. So don't, don't believe like say, a recent interview must be the same interview. Yeah. But it was an interview sponsored by a bank. I forget what the name of the bank is. Yeah. And it was a, it was a female and a male interviewing him. Anybody have them, them things, the internet, them can go up on the BBC website and the BBC was advertising. Them. Your voice, your voice go down, your voice go down. Yeah, what I was saying, they are they are sitting on the BBC. Yeah, yeah. Television. Yeah. So, you see whatever company, BBC television. Yeah. It is on the website. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a computer, internet, you can get it. So when you uh, access the internet, where you go? Where well, well, I do have an internet now, I just have a, a, a cable. In, like him now, you know what I'm saying? You know? You're yeah, you understand me though. Him now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I say, when you uh, access the internet, where you go? I used to have it, Jerry, but you it's expensive. I have to cut it off. But I just use the cable now. You, you think we can try him one more time? You, you, you know how you hear me? No, yes, we're going to try it one more time. When you want to access the internet, where you go? You say, I used to have the internet, but it's expensive. I can't afford it no more. I have to use the cable. You have some you have some giant pain, some stiffness are giant. You know which part of your brain? I think this 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 stem of your brain them say I just like giant to your spine, not you. Hello? I'm not a medical person, Jerry. No, but I tell you whether you're medical or not, I think it's the same giant. Or your yeah. brain giant to your your spine. Yeah. Yeah. You have a giant pain, right or so? Oh uh, you know say I have really some pain. You come back a hobby man. Yeah, he's a hobby man. If I'm a hobby man. Yeah. Because I really have some pain this morning, you know. Yeah? Yeah, I have to take um, a pain tablet. Pain tablet, yeah. yeah. I'm not nervous. You're the older man, Jerry. I forgot to check. I forgot to take a blood test. Ah, you're the reader, man. I forgot to take a blood test. I'll find out. All right, look more. Yeah, thank you very much. We're having any more here. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, we have some text messages, please. Some text messages here, please. Yes, we're going to read some text messages until this call comes through. First one. Jerry, tell us more about this Jesse Haggard person, you see? Why is you see how the man mix up the thing now? I talk about Jesse Haggard you now. And the man come in some start talk about Willie Haggard. And by the time him done, he mix up, um, he make a next mix up again. It's not Jesse Haggard. Caller is Jesse Hogg and uh, Willie Haggard is a, was a younger man, but him dead before. But in Jesse Hogg earlier days, long when when, he, when before Willie Haggard born, Jesse Hogg, Hogg was a kind of strong and um, big bad man in the um, in the Jamaican culture from in the time of Jeff folks and them and they can't say anything more at this time. Next one, good morning, Jerry. Them take the health workers their money so they could satisfy the IMF. I mean, them with all their money. Oh. Next one. Jerry, good to know you. And I share an anniversary. Today is the anniversary of my birth. I'm a regular long time listener from St. Thomas. Oh, yes. So the anniversary of my stop smoking. I wonder if you're a 27 year old. Yes, thank you very much for that. Next one. Jerry, how are we going to cope if Jamaica don't have the necessary equipment to fight this Ebola virus? Jamaica really gone to rot it. One thing I know that you have to... You, you, uh, it is best to maintain your confidence. It is best to maintain your confidence and then work along with that. Don't just confident alone. Work with the confidence. Next one. Morning, Jerry. I'm 21 years old and I've never smoked and never will. And all my friends smoke. But I want to know how you stop smoking. Beckham from West Milan. All right. We have a little more time, I can't go back into that. Is that. The first thing I have to do is study myself. The first thing I have to do is study myself. Then I have to realize that I am tied up to this smoking. In other words, addicted to it. And if you don't realize these things, and also realize that it is not good for you, you won't make the next move. But once you realize those two things and those three things, the next every step you make in the right direction, the next step will be revealed to you. Don't bother fret about way down the road. Once you know the next step to make, which is to know yourself, after you know yourself, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to know the next step. 
And after you make the next step, the other step will, the steps will be revealed. But that's still, it still helps for us to discuss, you know. It still helps for us to discuss, but knowing yourself and studying yourself and studying your actions and your habits is a vital step, first step. Next one. Can you remember when the government started charging us a gas tax with a promise to repair the roads in Jamaica? Yes, so I'm going to use part of the tax to repair the roads, yes. Why are all the roads not repaired? And can you get the minister to explain to the nation? I'm telling you already, you know, it's not all the while we're going to be calling any minister. Because most of the time, they're going to use the opportunity to promote themselves and not to answer what we need to know from them. So, we're not going to be calling ministers to explain themselves as much as other stations or other programs do. Because most of the time, they're just going to be using the program time to their advantage and to our disadvantage. Next one. The videos that the person calling about... The girls are not Jamaican. People are assuming and spreading all kinds of different type of information around the video. When I look at the videos and when you hear how those girls talk, they are black girls living in USA and not Jamaica. Some more information about the video. Let's go back to the phone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hey. Yes, welcome. How are you doing? Yes, sir. I would like to say something on this scheme here in Caesar Gardens. On the what? Save you community. Okay, save you, yes, sir. Go ahead, welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, we need some representative that can represent save you, young people in, inside save you. We don't have no representative yeah. to represent save you, young people. Yeah, young people, general opinion or football or what? Yes, yeah, football in sports, netball, yeah. and um, employment. Yeah, employment. Yeah. You ever, have a, you, you ever been a member of any youth organization in save you? you? No, no, I've never have a youth organization to see you. All right, tell me more, because you must have some ideas. Yeah, we need more more um, opportunities for young people to get gain employment. There's no, just to live with them, they're not employing a body in TV. We need some more sports representatives to develop sports in TV. Yeah. So tell me something now. Most of the doctors them on the bus will run through Sea View. Them, them live in a Sea View? Some of them. Some, of some them. but not all. Not all. And um, the shop them that um, in Sea View that employ a few people to work in there. Most of the people who are employing there they come from Sea View. Yeah, I come from Sea View. You ever do a study all of the business them that in Sea View? Yeah, yes, yes. I ever try to find out what percentage of the people who are working in the business don't come from Seaview? Yeah, man. Everybody here, they must have their own business here in Seaview, God. So nobody don't employ nobody? No. <laughs> no, none of them wholesalers, none of them bar. The I know one wholesale down there, so they have them family work inside here. Yeah. You see me? So, are not, not going for Seaview people inside All right, but here. one thing that can be useful, you, see, you think that you desire there. Yeah. If you get together with some young people, even two more, yeah. a male and a female, and you start discuss things, a lot of information, you, can, you must start gather up the information that you have. Yeah. You have a book or you have a computer, but it's best to have, if you even have a computer, it's, better to, it's best to have also a book. You okay. start, you, you, what a useful thing I believe for you would be to do is yeah. to start gather up information about your community. Okay, okay. Get up how much shopping in your community, which road the shop them depend, all of the different information. Yes. The more information that you have is the yes. more you're going to get to sort out your brain, especially if the two or three of you sit down together every few days and look back over the information. Every day, every time you look on it, something more going to come to you, how this information can be used. Okay, sir. But it is good the interest we have and the urge we have that, you, that young people need representation. Yes, Mr. Jerry, I want to dig up on your work you're doing. I want to keep it up on a good day. Okay, sir? Yes, I'm learning as I go along. And I'm sure that the same thing happen with you. Yeah, at least listen, you, 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 your program every day. And it's a good program to enlighten youngsters about your program. Well, thank you very much for that help here, sir. Yeah, I come from Dapa Corner in Phoenix, sir. What corner? Dapa Corner. Dapa Corner. That's how they near, which road? Swan Road. Swan Road in Seaview, Phase 1. Oh, yeah? Boy, that's great to know that. Here's a keep in contact. First time you call? First time you program. Nice. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Try to get together with a couple other people. You start keep some record of what you know. You're just surprised to know how much you know. 
yeah, yeah. But we need employment still. We don't have I know, employment. I know, I know, I know, I know. I feel it every day. When I, when I move up and down, the thing I feel the most is how the young people, them, the going to cope, going to cope, at the same time getting pregnant and getting ma women pregnant. Right, right. How right. them all cope. Uh, and they do the research, they said they need to be more, uh, um, more popularized. What need to be more popularized? The resources center. There's a resources center by this one there. Okay, okay. All right, next time I tell more about it. Yes, sir? All right, yes, I'm going to call it tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up Alone. Morning, welcome. Yes, love. yes welcome. Yes, Madam Jerry. Uh, oh, go on. What's in the you hear me? Yes, sir. Very well, well, yes. Uh, watching the news recently, I see um, highly Selassie um, high school has, you know, being highlighted now. They got some tablets recently. Yes, the computer. The great, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From um, Paulville and Portia was there, too. Yeah. Because yeah, it um, is in her constituency. Yeah, schools like this need those, you know, those equipment. Yeah. And um, the football team is doing all so great. Yes, yeah, so that's I hear. Yeah, they, they must come in the, the football coach and the, the, the staff. Yes, and badminton too. And badminton, great, you know. Uh, I think the coach is also a new person. I think his name is Jamaix. Oh, yeah, a Jamaix? Yeah, yeah mommy know him, man. You know, and they're doing quite well, you know. Yeah. They have reached the second round now. Yeah. Um, first time in his uh, school. Yeah. So, you know, we have to come in and dig up highly for that. Yes, sir. And then now Portia get jealous. Portia say, because Haile Selassie school kind of belongs to her, no? kind of her constitu constituency. But she get jealous and say, if Selassie get tablet, well, Bob Marley if he get tablet too. It's not that Bob Marley have, the Selassie have no same illness like Bob Marley, no. But she say she, she I know Bob, no, she never said Bob Marley, I lie me tell. She say if Selassie get tablet, well, Marley have to get tablet too. When you take a stock, get to a believe up. She go to school near Marley when she a little girl. Up in a Marley, Marley Hill. In a St. Yeah. Catherine Top. And she tell Paul, well, say, if you have give a lassie tablet, you have to come give Marley tablet. So she <laughs> said, look, she say, watch out Marley. We have come up there with some tablet for Marley school picnic. Because she go to school. Eh. Okay. I don't wrong her. Great speaking to you, man. Great program you have, you know. Thank you very Thank much. You God bless you. Thank you very much. Yes, All right. One love. Thank you very much. Let's go for a break. Straight up. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Uh, welcome. Hello. Welcome and hello. Well, welcome. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yes, man. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, thanks. Yes, um, boy. Um... See what's time said. True, true. Yeah, boy, I'm uh, looking at the paper this one in front page. Yeah. Um, I see where a gentleman went to the hospital on a ball the whole night, Tuesday night, and he never get no attention yeah. till the Wednesday morning. Yeah. Now when he get attention, now when he's dead. Yeah, it's when he's dead. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. You say, yo, you know, see what's time said. And it, the medical facility, them, the medical center, them need need some help. The person who in charge needs to you know, look into this thing because you can't have a man who go to the hospital and a ball for 12 hours straight. You can't yeah. do it from 7 o'clock to Tuesday night and a ball the whole night. And I, experience, I experience things like that. Right. And it's one, one of my children, unborn children, end up dead because of that kind of treatment. And you know, say, I see him for my father dead too because him go end up him meeting a little accident and him go um, to the public hospital. But so him now no blood has spray all the time and no knife stab and no gunshot. Yeah. He never fought on him until, because he well, was they have internal bleeding, but to him now no blood has spray all the time. Yeah. They don't look on him, they don't look on him, bleed internally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah why, that's why people usually, and if even bad, but people usually say, it is the, it is the, um, the hinges that make the most noise. Like you turn open a door and it's a creak, creak all the while. Yeah. Eventually, you pay attention that that one you grease it, and the one right. when I make the noise, not getting right. grease. But sometimes, maybe it's because them start ball so late. Why them nobody pay no attention to them? Why, uh, tough. Next thing too, uh, this Ebola thing. Why? Me, you make mention some this morning regarding Bill Gates and thing. I know it's a real thing, I say. You watch it. 
Yeah, no, I never really watch it, you know, but me uh, listen to some other thing on the internet and thing where they say, yo, you know, them Bill Gates, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates, which are my wife, yeah. them are part on this thing, you know. Yes. The vi- them have them also part on the, the, uh, the vi- vaccine and the, the Ebola itself. Yeah. Yeah, so, and they might invest some heavily money in this thing. Because ah, you see the word they use there? Eh? What do you use the word? What word do you use? Patent. No, invest. Invest, right. Yes, yeah. people don't know say invest, they might invest. Yeah, they might invest in this thing. People said donate. People said donate, it, but it, I invest, they might invest. Yeah, because they know say this spin off of this thing is going to be great. So they might make sure put in a foot and a hand from early. Yes, sir. Why it's rough and people need my boy I tell Jamaica yeah. don't need to say, listen to the news, listen to overseas thing. Yeah. Go up on the internet, read up what go on because trust me, a whole different things are going and the 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 US authority, the C D C people them yeah. they might hide the information and them not tell the people. No, they what? they um every every set of people usually do things with self interest, even if they are kind. Yeah. The self interest is there yeah, and they are they benefit and I don't yeah. wrong, I don't wrong them you know. Is we have to write ourselves. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Well, well, I, I just read hello. Hello. Is he there still? still even well, no, listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me, yeah. listen, listen to me, little. Yeah. I just threw the time short, I forgot yeah. to our next phone call. But oh, call oh, again oh, soon, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to straight up. Hello. Jerry. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yeah, man. I wanted to finish up with you this morning. But yeah, man. I realized at the time. Yeah, yeah man. Go ahead. But the, Im, the, the, your um, imploring people not to smoke is a good thing, you know? Well, it's if them want to help themselves. Yes. Well, I mean, some people not nowhere here still, as we know. Yeah. Well, I mean, the imploration of people not smoking is very important. That's why Fergus is not going to get zero. Because... No. Um, I think him did a, him led a good thing when him, yeah. um, yes sir, I would, smoking. I would give him credit for that. I yeah, definitely yeah. would give him credit for that good thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you check out, if you really check out smoking and so on and compare it to the bowl and so on and even it, it's, it, the two of them are basically, the is worse still. No, no man, w- well, like well I, mean? I think smoking kill yeah. a hundred times more what the bowl are going to kill. what the bowl kill, yeah, yes. But, Work. But the only thing is that you smoke voluntarily. Yes. Although you have um, second-hand smoker, people are being, smoke is being imposed on people. Definitely. But the bowl are more sneaking. Because yes, we, we're there, smoke, there's fire, but the bowl are not showing no, no smoke. No, not showing no smoke or anything. That's what I, as I say, I can't take the second-hand smoke in digger so, Because you don't choose to smoke, and other people choose to blow them smoke in your face. So you call that smoking and then choking. Exactly. Smoke they must smoke and we are choke. But Jerry, yeah. what I'm saying, why on the packet of every cigarette, you know, yeah. it says smoking kills. Yeah, yeah. Right? So why, why risk yourself? <clears throat> like that? No, if you are addicted, that don't matter to you. Yeah. If you go to a car race, yes. and you go outside of the boundary, where the crowd must hold back, you know that you're in danger. Yeah. But some people, them don't feel like them are watching race unless, them, unless, yes, unless when the car are the past the them. <coughs> when the car pass them, they must have feel the breeze. Right, the breeze, right. And when the man draw the brake, they must have feel the heat of the brakes right, when the it are pass them. The, you know? At the time, so. Yeah. The self at risk. Yes, sir. But, uh, I, if Jerry, yeah. I think, Miss Joyce, um, what you were saying about those things is very positive, you know? I don't but doubt her. It's like this to her. I don't doubt her. It's, yes. just, it's just that her language is very high. What do you mean her language is high? It's, no, you, you, have to, you, have to, you have to listen to her good to get the sense out of her. Yeah, but I get, I get sense out there, man. I don't because you listen are good, but most people, yeah. most, some people don't listen good. No, they don't listen good. Some people don't listen good, you know? You know, we're not, a, we're not, we're not alluring people, you know? <laughs> at times, you know, some of us are not alluring. No, but, but you couldn't say Miss Jai is not alluring. No, you couldn't say Miss Jai is not alluring. No, I'm not saying it about Miss Jai. No, 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 what, let me, me say it, let me say it. Carefully and so on. Yes, but you couldn't say Miss Jai is not alluring because I'm telling you times to call people. No, man. Well, I'm not a donor, man. I'm not a donor, man. Anytime she... I'm <clears throat> so sorry. Yes. When she called people, he has prick up, you know, because they know them always going to hear something interesting and picture, my, my picturesque. If you, can't even, more. Eh, if you can't even make out what she has said, yeah. you know, say it, it well picturesque. My ears pick up even more because me love to hear her <laughs> voice. You have, but, some, you have pass some people are, are, are looking at newspaper and they take a stack it upside down. Yes. But, because the newspaper is interesting, you know. Right. If them never not make head or tea like them know say something or something. It's something, does something about her. That, yeah. uh, it, her, <laughs> her, her arguments are always so good and it's always interesting. There's something about her. And she said that at chapter 3. Eh? She chapter said, 3? You never hear her good. You never yes, hear her good. Yes, my mother is strong, man. There we are, there we are about chapter 3. You never hear that <laughs> part, man. 
When she done, she said that a chapter three. Uh, what you say about chapter three? You, you see it there? Eh? I yes, tell you that that's the last thing she say. You have to wait till she come back. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very much. It's good, book, <laughs> Good morning. Uh, him, him, it's a joke. May I listen? You think me, you think me so long for nothing? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning. Welcome. Straight Up, hello. Turn. Yes, sir. Welcome. How about Mario Dean case, yeah? Mario Dean, yes, sir. Yeah, that, that, that was DC, that was 2DC, District 27. Sounds like yeah. That was yeah. on I don't, I don't believe those two DC showed in any trouble, I know why. Why? If, 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 if this horse belongs to you, I understand? Yeah. And you see that head of the horse. Yeah. You should know, you should um, respond to your child. The police at the car by sergeant was on station duty, duty at that, that, that time. Yeah, yeah. That, that is the player that should be in trouble right now. No, all, all of who are <laughs> on duty at the station yes. have some responsibility. Yes. You know? Some of them have some particular responsibility. One of them might yes. have responsibility for the, 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 the book at the front of the station that take report. And next yes. one might have responsibility for traffic report. Mm -hmm. And next but one have... But, yes, yeah, but what I'm, what I'm simply saying now, I know first time, you know, first time, no DC, I never should have ever done any, um, taken any record from any bank come to this station to do any report. Yeah. First time, I know, I, I, you see, first time, I know when people come by your home, like police come by your home, I know DC is the one, you know, the police, and you should supposed to recognize the DC by the open air door. But now it's, it's, it's different now. Yeah, well, alright, make us stay at the station for the time being. If something take place at the station mm -hmm. that is not that is not good for the community, mm -hmm. the police who are on duty at the station share a responsibility for anything that take place at the station while they are there. What? Okay, I understand. You understand now? Yeah, I understand. Because Mario Dean died while they were on duty. That yeah. is why they are being... Uh, they are being held, held. They are, hold on, hold on. They are being mm -hmm. held responsible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what I'm saying, the, the, the person that I, I, I was hanging in the book at that time, that is the one who should be in trouble right now. No, no, not only, not only one. No, not only one. Eh? Not only one. Listen, yes, the person yes. handling the book at a certain time yes, yes. Cannot be the only person responsible for people who are being held there. The person handling the book. How, how somebody going to be handling the book at the front of the station? But, he, 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 but you're not listening. Right, listen, you, right listen here. Right. But you're not listening to what I'm saying. You're yeah, not following. I'm listening. I'm listening now. Yeah. How can the person handling the book at the front desk at the station be the only one responsible for what take place around the lockup part? Well, that, 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 that's, a, that's a ten for it. Uh, yeah, that's a yes, ten for it. Because here is now. The person handling the book at the station, quite likely, is the same yes. person who, when bail is being processed, yes. also going to be there handling the book, making record of who come to bail, who is being bail, qualification, time, and all those things. So yeah, no, she is responsible in terms of being there, and in addition to that, processing the bail application right other yeah, people yeah. responsible for carrying the food round to the cell yes. other people responsible for opening the lock where all the food for going yeah, and I different have people go. have to go now here yeah okay Jerry. thank you very much go for a break yes welcome back to straight up i'm your host jerry small hello good morning and welcome to you hello Hello, morning, Mr. Small. Yeah, what's well, going on? Yeah, Mr. Small. Sir. You know, it really hurt my feelings, you see? Yeah. To see how many Jamaicans right now can't pay the first doctor bill. First doctor bill, yeah? Yeah, because as a, one of your responsibilities as a human is to ensure that your time is properly managed, your risk is properly managed, your stress is properly managed, and your money must be properly managed, you know. Yeah. Those are basic management skills, you know. Yeah. And if you are in a relationship 
If the wife can deal with the finance better than you do, you must make she be the financial controller. You know? And if any aspect that the man can do better, he must be the controller for that. You know? But it is wise for him to learn, though. Yes, yeah, for to learn, because learning is a lifelong thing. It's part of your daily diet, you know. Yeah. But there are poor coordination within the household in terms of money management, you know. Yeah. Because you have a lot of people living in Kingston City and Lower St. Angela. Yeah. They don't have any insurance policy that they, they, they join up for each other to secure each other. We know that prostate cancer is among us, breast cancer and all different. Because the cancer epidemic don't come yet, you know. There's a cancer epidemic that is supposed to come in the Caribbean that they forecast, you know. And they have been telling us that about three years ago. And most people don't have insurance that they can fight back and put each other beneficiary, boyfriend and girlfriend who playing games. They're not doing that. Some of them, they have the bank account and they don't even put their spouse name in it. They put some old auntie. No, you say, you say some of the spouse. I, I not I'm warning nobody about nothing, you know, but I only say some of, the, some of the bad spouse make it bad for some of the good spouse. Because some of the spouse, if you put them name in at the bank account, when you look wrong, it's only the name left in there. But yes, the zero they've got. But but you if you, but if you're dealing with a spouse, probably that's not supposed to happen still. No, but another thing that amazes me. When you're alive and well now, yeah. people don't promote you like all you Jerry Smart. Yeah. You don't see anybody in Kingston wearing your button on their chest and say, Boy, Jerry Smart teach me something every day. Yeah. But but when you pass on you see they start promote you. Oh yeah, second. Where all these money come from? <laughs> We, 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 we must invest in each other. You know. The man from CV who just called yeah. so that the young people don't have any work. Yeah. I want to ask him how much money the cash part man extract from CV. Well, hold on it. Then what do you think, what do you think I send him for do? I tell him must <laughs> sit down and go around CV. He man did that too. Must go around CV and write down every business place that in a CV. Yes. And you know, so the next step is to find out Hey, how much, which business place I carry the most money out of CVU? And which yes. business place I carry the most money in a CVU? Uh, how much high school students graduate in CVU with their qualification yeah. and not making a contribution to the community? I know a quarrel with you. Bookkeeping and helping the yes. businesses to grow. Yes, I know a quarrel with you. I am coming in, but I want them to start keep the book. Yes. Mr. Small, you we know, only have, we only have te- class and the algebra teacher say X plus Y equals 6. Yeah, we only have if 10 seconds more. If you must go find your X and your Y, you know. Yeah. Sometimes when you talk something on the radio, give me a little one of my algebra solution, you know. Oh, yes, sir. Well, I want you to hand in your paper now because I time up. Respect here, Mr. Small. But you can't work is burning in the field. May I tell you about There's that? There's more work in Jamaica than money can pay for. Yes. Thank you, you. Ah, thank you very much, yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, morning, Mr. Swan. Yes, sir, welcome. Yeah, man. I was a little bit disappointed with, with, with your guest yesterday, you know. Yeah. I, at least, yeah, man, at, at least one thing when me say, me, I sent you a text about it. Yeah. It was red, but if neither you nor him said nothing about it. Yes, because well, but I, I did ask him to pay attention to them and to answer them, but the time gets short up, um... But well, I did. Same, I will come back still, you know. But I will point out again to you. Go on. As if you understood, you know, I, I agree with I know the rat not play a call from. Huh? I know the apple play a call from. Do we? No, no, you don't know. I think it's a different man who living at the apple. Oh, okay. no, man. Go ahead, yes. Um, all right. He, he said to you that, I mean, me probably have a paraphrase, you know, so bear with me. No, man, he, go on. Basically, he must say, like, you should be aware of his, of his choice for who should have... Um, took over from from Bruce Bolin. Yeah. So it seems it, to me so like a something where he probably did discuss, and he he, he said that his choice him um, would have been um would have been Adi Shah. Yeah. And then he went on to say that the, the reasons for Adi Shah, and and I think so the thing swing me big time man because him say 
it, it was because Mr. Shaw was right or hard, you know? Yeah. Something else. It was because Mr. Shaw have a big mouth. Yes. Then, uh, that's not what we really want him, he, m Mr. Small. I no, he what? Gonna, yes. he, he, his choice yeah. was somebody who, who, who have the vision, who have the plan, to know how. We, you understand? Yeah. We don't want nobody to match up with, 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 with in a tracing match, man. Oh. Big more business. Uh, uh, you know? Yeah. You don't, that means you don't, you don't want right a, me. that means you don't want a double barrel. No, man. It never sound right to me. I mean, and, and, you know, it, it kind of shows that there's so much things wrong. I mean, he sounds so smart and so, you yeah. know. Yeah, well, here is now. We come with the right formula. We yeah. don't need the big mode formula, man. We need a big action formula. Yeah, well, here is here now. I point out all the while that when you have a, when competition is limited to two, you're not going to get no great, great results. And, and, and that is why if it was that it was only Asafa Powell that Bolt had to compete against, Bolt wouldn't reach the heights of performance when reach now. And if it's only Bolt, you, um, Johan Blake have to compete against, him wouldn't reach where him reach. And so it goes on and on and on, on. More competition we are dealing. Yeah, man. All right. You said that, you know, and, and from the other day, I mean to ask you, you know, because you've been, Kind of like advertising somebody. To me, in, well, that's my interpretation. Yeah. The professor brother, the web name. Oh. You, you was asking how good would he have performed in, 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 in public service. Who that? Well, well, the professor name, man. Which I think I'm um, surprised I can't pick it up. Which and professor? You are, basically, you are saying if he was in public, so, uh, if he was handling the, 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 the health ministry, uh, something to that effect. Oh, Professor Eklin. Pardon? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, and, and so, apart from who course, uh, advertise, advertise the man still, you know. Advertise him? Yeah, man. Say, we wonder if, if, if you come, if you have a plan to come to, if somebody will hear him really attack, and if he's, if he's, if he's going to make a move or something like that. Oh, so sir? We really need people, you know, Mr. Bo Mr. Small. We really yeah. need some people to shape this. Well, what you must do? What you must do? Go make a study from Professor Eklin and find out. If um if you feel like him, would I do a better job? But I need to go to a couple more callers. Call me again even before the program finish. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, sir. Yes. Uh, Jerry. Welcome, welcome. A lady is there. Oh yes, yes. You're talking to me. Sorry, sir. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Small. Yes, ma'am. I am a little bit nervous. Yeah. But um, I have been reading up, you see, sir, because of this chick the, um thing. Yeah. I came across um, some interesting information yeah. on the Jamaican um, bitterwood tree. Bitterwood. Bitterwood. It's called the Jamaican quassia. Yeah. So, Mr. Small, what I did... Oh, you spell the quassia? Um, Q-U-A-S-S-I-A. -S -S I think that's a form of kasha. All right, it's kasha. I've it's seen Kasha spelt another way as well. Yes, ma'am. But anyway, let me tell you this interesting thing that I found. Yeah. I got some of the arm, um, the branches, the yeah. wood. Yeah. And I boil it up. You know, it's extremely bitter. Yeah. And then now I put some of the leaf. I put a, pick a few branches and I put them in my house. And it's four days now, Mr. Small, and I haven't seen one mosquito. Yeah. No, it's. True, I, I, I don't know. I want somebody else to back it up. Yeah. For me. And that's all I have to tell you. Oh, and another thing, sir. Yeah, ma'am. I have made some, um, you know, I'm retired now, so I have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah. So I made up a little spray. Yeah. Which is um, dishwashing liquid, a little alcohol, a little peppermint. Yeah. And you know, sir, when you're on the mosquitoes, you know they drop dead. So what? Uh, yes, sir. You, you, you check them back after them drop? Yes, I picked them up. I had, before I did the bitterwood thing, I had them lined up on my table. Yeah. And that's all I want to tell you today. Mine, you know, if I watch them for a while now, otherwise... I uh, watch them for a while. I watch and none of them don't recover and get up and fly. I know that, but they don't. And furthermore, if they do drop and all of that, you can just Kill them at that time. Oh. You see what you I mean? You kick them when they're down. Right. Kick them when they're down, sir. 
Yes, ma'am. All right. So I don't know. Maybe if somebody has tried the um, the bitterwood thing. Yeah. They could call him. Just put just put the lease in your your house, like yeah. you would um, have a vase. Yes. Yes, sir. Well, thank Try you very much. Thank you very much, here. Yeah? All right. Bye, bye, Mister. Why? And we did have an next phone call there now. Well, there's nothing beat, um, nothing beat an error but a trial. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hey. Hello, welcome. Jerry, you hear me? Yes, sir. You know, sir, I was about half an hour trying to get you. Yeah. And just the same argument the lady come on a while ago. Yeah. That's what I was about to suggest. But beat I would? No. What? That, some... This opportunity now for a man become a millionaire, a billionaire. A millionaire, a billionaire. A billionaire. Well, I feel a Bill Gates. <laughs> have a man. jump on you. Uh, listen up, Jerry. Yeah. Because right now we, we need some solutions. Yeah, yeah. And this lady, I'm telling you, man, this lady must 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 have telepathy or how she come. The similar thing I was talking about. Yeah. Yes. But but you know what I do? What I do? Um. What I do with to, to if I have in the water about the place? Yeah. I buy some chicken fat at a certain place. Sick chicken, what? Chicken fat. Chicken fat, oh. It's quite cheap. And yeah. I, and I take my wood fire. Yeah. And I, and I, and I boil out the fat. Yeah. And me, me tell you something, man. When you trip on the, uh, if you're in the water, sickly anyway. Yeah. Not even one mosquito, you, you, you know, see me. Yeah. Uh, uh, listen to me, unless, uh, listen to me. You don't have to use, especially if you want to use the water. Suppose you want to use the water to water something else, like you want to water. A plant also. You don't have to throw a curse in the end or guess I. Yeah. You that smell you bad. Yes, because um, you want water to use. Mm. Otherwise. And you don't see not even one mosquito. Uh, and I mean, I talk, no, no, since the chicken going in, I'm not talk, I've been watching this thing for a long, long, long time. Long time. I use it to wash off all the sidewalk. Listen, hey, listen. I will not come to you with argument, man. Deal with one, man. What the time are we? Hello? I go past it. What are we doing with now? Yes, sir. All right, well, thank you very much. We're going to go for the 11 a.m. headline news here now. Straight up. Welcome. Welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host, Jerry Small. We need some more text message here. And we're going to go to your phone call. We're into the third hour of our program. Today is the 2nd of October, Thursday. This afternoon, I think, is the afternoon when Professor Carlin Cooper has our program. I think it's somewhere about 4.30, isn't it? I think it's about 4.30. Professor Carlin Cooper has a new program. She has a young co-host with her. I forget his name. Interesting program. And the discussion is in the Jamaican vernacular. Patwa, we call it. And I um, I recommend that people must be able to speak and understand both the various forms of Patwa in Jamaica and also standard English as it is understood internationally. Both of them should be understood and they should be we should be able to use both of them both in writing and in um, listening and in speaking both of them and other languages i admire very much human beings who um, master more than one language more than one language and it's not just few human beings have that ability you know. that is a human ability that all of us have it's just that we most of us are not introduced to more than one language in our lifetime, formally. But both part one English, both of them, the two of them. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Hello? Yes, Mr. Smile, we come back again. Yes, Mr. ma'am, how are you doing? I'm here, Mr. Smile. Mr. Smile, um. you see, human, if human eat flesh that have disease, it takes time for it to develop in the human blood. Yeah. Right? Long time ago, people used to eat all type of something, like insect, reptile, and so on. Mm -hmm. But guess what happened now? What is the big thing about it now? Yeah. These days, when people have like 10 or 100 acres of land, what them use for, um, what do they call it, like fowl or goat or pig? Yeah. What they did, when them leg of the feces, that is the animal, when them leg of the feces, them don't throw it away like what Jamaica people do. Mm. What they did with it, they mix it up with the grass. And remember that the same grass is fertilizer. They must be healthy. The grass then grow enough because there are enough animals and they eat a lot. Yeah. So they mix it up with them feces. 
plus put chemical in it and refine it and get them back to eat as feeding. We eat it. We must get cancer. Something like that, yes, because as in recent years, most a lot of us get to know that um, them grinding up all animal bone in a feeding and giving back some of the same animal to eat. So, you see where all our disease come from, sir? Mr. Small, you remember one time when we said to you, my dream said there are going to be 21 earthquakes, but I don't know is where, when. Yeah. You know what is that was that 21? Them say young people see vision and old people dream, dream. You know what was that 21? Wow. In the space of 21 days, Ebola take life. Oh, you're just you're fine out now? Yeah. Oh. This man, when we hear the man say, 20, the man say 21 days, me say, Lord Jesus. Because when I get the dream, you know, I was in a deep sleep. And like somebody would have said, 21, three times the person say 21, 21 days. It's going to be a major, major earthquake. Yeah. So that is the reason why when I come on the air, I say, I don't know is where or what time or what, but it's going to be happening. So this is the 21. Because remember, you know, in the whole big book, you know, people always talking parable, you know. Mm. And it's difficult to understand. Yeah. So, Mr. Small, this is me, me from 1 to 6 feet. Me started from this morning. Have a lovely day. Yeah. You'll be wise and conscious. And if you find a time that, boy, you know, no, what's the company here, can say? Who you talk to? Whosoever be your most high or your comfort? Because, Mr. Small, if you're in the light, you know, you will do everything that is right because you are in the light. If you are in the darkness, you will always try to hide things and do devious things. And when you do devious things, you don't have a clean heart. Your heart dirty. Well, thank you very much, yeah, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Smart. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Jerry. Yes, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? What's up? Fine, thank you. Yeah, man. Interesting show. Go on. Yeah. Sing there. I don't hear anybody talk about this, but I understand that you have some unscrupulous people selling people pure seed for busy. Pure seed and this guy has... Yes, them great tight. Yeah. And sell it as busy, so tell the people... But pure them. seed not red? Pure seed red? Big man, you know busy? Yeah. And you know pure seed? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it it look like it? Yes. But when it great tight, it look like it though? Yes, man. Me never agree with that, but I would figure, because I remember about pure seed. No, pure seed can't look like it before it great, you know. When it dry. Yeah. When them, I dry them great, I busy, you know. So, so you would have buy powder busy? Eh? You would buy powder busy? Yeah. No, but no, from your youth, me never buy no powder busy. Me have to buy it all. Uh, but they must sell everything powder now, you know, remember? That's a them. But me now buy it, that. Me have buy it, me have to see the busy. Not uh, true. That's a you. Eh? I tell you, but what really happened now, just I tell you maybe people are here and we understand, you know? So we be here. Yes, sir. Tell me something, the thing with Bill Gates. Yeah. What do you see that really happened? I watched an interview with Bill Gates, just donate the day before, $50 million to the fight against Ebola. Mm-hmm. And then I interview him and I give them the up-to-date way, where I donate the money. And it's mostly health matters. Especially in Africa, I spend most of my donation for over the last several years. That is the only work we have done now. Right. But I spend most of the interview praising the American government, how much work them doing, even more than him, in, in for health of people around the world and money where they have donate. Uh-oh. So I promote, promote the American government, but you have to watch it. You can't get the sense it unless you watch it um, or listen to it. <laughs> and if somebody is there... Eh? In my case, yeah. Yes, well, you'll make somebody watch it with you. Yeah. And you listen him good. And you, and you make them know, tell, make them tell you every time when him smile. So deep down, you know, feel him a deep from the heart? Yes, man, from the heart and pocket, of course. No, man. Then, like, like all Bill Clinton, now we have the AIDS program in Africa. Uh. I see him figure that's about it, too. What that's about it? Huh? What I say about it? Look a smirk and thing. Them I never use the word smirk. But I never use the word smirk. 
I mean, just use that, man. You, you yes, that's why I say you use it. use it, but you're saying that me use it. The other day, pun if, you said pun in faces is something like that. Something like that? Smirk or something uh -huh. like that. Yeah. But me ask you to feel it deep down. But that's your ask me an answer already. So I why say you yes. say investment? Why what? Why you say invest in my investing in it? Then I'm not investing in it. Eh? Then I'm not investing in it. Where am I forget, Mark? On knowledge. Oh. Thing I will tell you, you know? No, knowledge. Then, then knowledge is what? The, the use of knowledge is what? The industry where Bill Gates become millionaire and the richest man in the world. What them call that in, in, industry? It's two different things. That I am asking you a question again. I said two different No, will you allow me now? And if, you, if you're not going to answer, just tell me you're not answering. The in, not answering. Will, will allow me? Don't allow me now. The industry in which Bill Gates made his fortune, which even carried him to be the richest man in the world, what is the name of that in, in the industry? The computer industry. Informa no, information. Information. Yes. So no knowledge, no knowledge industry that. No, but how you compare that with... All right, we, we, we run out of time, but call again soon. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Good morning, Mr. Welcome. Yes, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, what you need to tell the guy, Mr. Gates. Mr. who? Bill Gates. Yes. Yeah, when he done it, yeah. his return is straight from... Information technology information. I'm not hearing it that clear. Is could you speak it, it up? Returns. Yeah. When Bill Gates do, um, when donates, Bill Gates yes. Donates. Yeah. Globally. Yeah. You will get people who are interested in his business. Yeah. He's into Microsoft, etc. Yeah. So people all over the world will buy his product. Yeah. Just because he is a man who you know help people. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um. I'm looking at uh, Ebola. Yeah. And Chikun Gonya, which people are talking about right now. Yeah. And I heard uh, some, uh, Mr. Steve Wright this morning was talking about how the government not prepared, the, the doctors said they don't have the material and equipment necessary to fight Ebola when it comes. But we not, Ebola is a disease that is in Africa and it's by chance it might reach here, by chance it might not. We have other disease that will crop up. So he's telling us that, just like hurricane, we should go and buy thousands of zinc, zinc and put it down waiting for a hurricane. I, you know, I don't understand how these people operate. They're blaming the government that the government is not ready in terms of resources, technology, equipment. Are we going to waste money to equip our hospital, put all these things in place before, long before we, the government is talking about preparing for this crisis right now? Yeah. But it's like we politicians talking about they should be prepared from years. Two years ago, the new chicken gunner was coming. And we should have been prepared. In, in what form? What is most interesting about the whole of this discussion to you? What is most interesting? What's most important? No, what is most interesting to you about the whole of this discussion? It's interesting how we politicize in everything and we're not... We're, we're not... Coming together as one people to fight the problems that we face. I mean, I heard this lady call and talk about how she experimented with this product. And I was surprised with you that you didn't spend more time discussing it with her. And like you were, you know, mimicking her. Well, on it. I was mimicking her. The lady who talk about the bitter wood. Bitter wood, right. In what way did I mimic her? I, in, in your conversation, yeah. you were asking her if she really checked the mosquitoes long after the job to ensure that they're... Hold on, hold on, hold on. After she tell me about the bitter wood, you see? Yeah. What's the next thing she told us about? Told us about another product which she... 
together. Yeah. And she's pray mosquitoes and the mosquitoes drop. Yes. So now that has nothing to do with the bitter wood. No, so the can't the, hold on. Ingredients she mentioned. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. One of the yes. What the, the product that she mentioned after is not the bitter wood antidote. No combination is that it, when you when you don't allow me to finish what I'm saying, like how oh, I did allow you to finish. It it only make things take longer, you know. Yeah, man, go ahead. All right. So after she done tell about the bitter wood antidote, <coughs> which was very interesting to me, and she said the mosquito them stay away from our house. Mm -hmm. She started telling us about her spraying now that she contact with right. dishwashing liquid and some other things. Yeah. She said after she spray them, the whole of them drop down. I was seriously and still am seriously interested in what she's saying. I want to distinguish if she check back with them after them drop down and see if them drop down for a time and then recover or if them drop dead. She never tell us if them drop dead, you know. She said them drop down. So I was interested to find out if them get incapacitated, if them get stunned or Jamaican people call it stunted or if them was finally That's put out of, uh, uh, out of um, commission. And that is why I was questioning her but about if she checked back. My point is that you didn't send, you didn't keep her on the phone as long as you keep the people who call to discuss politics. Hold on there now. Do you know how long I keep people on the phone as a rule? And I, I listen to you and I've been listening. My first time calling really. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, I'm going to ask you again. Do you have any idea how long I keep people on the phone as a rule? Not as a rule. I, I was, I'm just talking about her. I know I'm paying attention to myself now. I'm asking you to pay attention to me now. Do you know how long I keep people on the phone as a rule? No. As a rule, I keep people on the phone for three minutes. I usually interrupt them because, especially when they are interesting, because I want to get in a discussion with them. But it's not a very good way. Gradually, I break myself out of that, but still, I'm still not faultless that way. But I know in recent times, I've been able to control it more and allow them to talk for at least two minutes straight out of the three minutes before I start to interact with them. Yeah. And I usually, after interacting with them, two minutes down the line, and we discuss things about a minute. If it's a normal call, I usually try to bring it to an end as close to the three minutes as possible and then take other calls. If there's no other calls, I allow them more. And when somebody is extra interesting, I usually allow them more time, sometimes double the time, three, three, three and three, six, sometimes three times the time and so on. Now I allow this lady more time than what I allow the normal call. I wonder if you're, oh. you, be, you believe me? You believe I, me? No, I didn't notice that. I noticed that, well, in, in her comments as well, she seemed like she was on a hurry to end the call. All right, but by the way, do you know how much time I have allowed you so far now? Well, I... Well, I, I it's Is that you know or you don't know? Just tell me quick now. Do you know how much time I allowed you so far? I've gone about two minutes. No, seven minutes. Mm. But the point what, 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 what me just say to you? Yeah, yeah. How much me say? Well, what I'm trying no, to... No, I'll ask you how much I say a while ago. You said seven. All know. right, and how much I say I usually allow most calls? I'm not talking about most No, I'm asking you. Well, I'm just what? trying to ask you if you remember. How much time I say I usually allow most calls? I've been... I've, I've just started listening to you. Okay, okay. Well, right, let me refresh you. Yeah. I usually allow most calls three minutes. Three minutes. And if they are interesting, I mm -hmm. allow them more time. And well, so I'm far, so far I've allowed you seven minutes, even though I use up two and a half minutes out of the seven minutes. A lot of my time, but I was just trying You still don't want you to say, but unfortunately now, we're now gone eight minutes and I have to go to somebody else. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. I hope you don't think me rude, because I allow him eight minutes. I take about three out of it. I allow him eight minutes. Yes, sir. Have you sur surfed the net? Surf the net. I do yeah. have no where, where, where you... I don't know where, where surf mean, but I have an idea when it Search the net, go through the net, and for choose the issue that you feel they have interest in. Hardly. All right, because I love to do that. You know why? Yeah. All right, for instance, yeah. when this Ebola thing come on, I do some 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 some, some studies on it. Yeah. When chicken gunga, I do some studies on it. Yeah. And all right, the Ebola, I go and the 
CNN network sometime last week and I go and I click to Africa and a hospital in Sierra Leone. Some people turn up there with Ebola. Yeah. The doctor never have no remedy. So he has access to Lavimodine. Yeah. He, when I finished with it, I realized that Lavimodine is a drug that they use to treat people with HIV. Oh, yeah. The doctor said he treat these people, which was which amount to 27, and he said he lost 2% of yeah. that 27. Some of the people were, they interviewed them, and they were saying, they doesn't matter they, they car you know that most of these drugs you know have a side effect right car it have an effect on your liver and other part of your body but they were saying they don't care they go there with a pain in them chest and they end up feeling 10 times better so they will cut anything them get they will take it yeah see so there is some chance of, of you do have to go in and all past stories again because love for did as far as what the reading said is a concoction, you know, with more, more than one more than one drug that it is treated for HIV too. No, you mean it it treats more than one disease. Yes, because so that is not said, more than one drug. That means it treats more than one disease. Yes, yes, sir. Thanks for, for, for putting me in other in other in, for me, sometimes I make some mistake in discussing the things. Yeah. Right? So if they can find something else to work with the love modine. Yeah. Because they use it with something else to work with the patient with the HIV same place in Africa there. Yeah. So so these people need to do some more studies to see how will it work because they say it it uh, it's almost like HIV you know. It's coming from the same trend, you know. You mean Ebola? Yes, they say it's coming from the same trend. Yeah, but it's spread by um it's spread by what? Body fluid, blood what? Yeah, yes, it's spread more easily to people against people. You know, yeah, but so not, not sexually. No, no. Not sexually. So that means that it's even more dangerous because it, um, you just by touch it to spread. Yes, sir, you are in the same space with, with, with the person. Yeah, yeah. All you right, go you go on surf for me here, sir. One of them. No, man, no, me, me love read them things there, you know, because well, I, I, that we have net fine you know. yeah. As a phone, me have, we have a net on it, you know. Oh, yes, sir, to me. Then? Yeah. Well, I soon catch up with you, maybe. Yeah, and you see, you see the chicken good and all? Is just in July, they, 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 they find one person with it in, in Florida, you know? Yeah, yeah. All and right, I'm going to I'll, okay. five countries. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. I have to go to some more call, but um, keep in touch, yes, sir. I'm going to read some text messages first. I hear that there's a polio outbreak in Pakistan coming from Peter and St. Elizabeth, yes? Next one, Lisa Hannah must break her silence on the daily Harris dismissal from the Ministry of Culture. Well... It's not every time somebody dismissed you hear minister talk, but it seemed to me like there is some connection between the dismissal and Lisa and herself. Next one. Oh boy, what is who is worse? Miss Joyce or Wilson? Why? I'm not really finding none of them too bad, you know. Wilson might sound like irritating still, and some people irritated with Miss Joyce, but you know. Next one, Jerry, the government should pay for all medication, yeah? Them not going to do that, man. Next one, do you know if there is even a headstone for the victims of the Kendall train crash? I don't know. I suppose so because they were buried all... Oh, you mean a headstone at the spot? You mean a monument at the spot? Yes, I believe that there's a monument somewhere around the Kendall there, you know. But um, in terms of headstone, those headstones were all over the place because the people were buried at many different places, especially in Kingston. Especially at the Roman Catholic Church in, uh, what the town name again? Ahana Town. Next one, Jerry, I don't worry about these diseases when they come. We just need to keep our surroundings clean. Yeah, some of them surroundings, clean surroundings can stop, but others of them now is more contagious than that. Next one, good morning, Uncle Jerry. What is survival? Do human beings have survival instinct before birth? What caused this instinct to become stronger or weaker in some people? Yeah, human beings have survival instinct. Born with it, yes. Some, in some it is stronger than others. But it need, um, it need training. 
when you're growing up, your parents or your family or whoever bring you up, help to train you how to direct the instinct them or how to pay attention to them. But some people are naturally intuitive. In other words, the tuition, the teaching come from inside of them. Next one. What the caller about health not saying is we should eat local and natural foods to prevent the cancer epidemic, but save money to pay the doc and still die. Yeah. Next one. Jerry, we should all know by now that Sister P does not dismiss any of our ministers because they are, because to her they are A1 perfect. Yes, almost everybody should know that. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Sir Jerry. Welcome, sir. Yeah, man. Can, can you tell Fox when you're surfing, the, must, the net must surf slowly because he's giving us incorrect information. Yeah. The first case of the chicken gunia was not in Florida, but in Martinique. That's the first case. In the world? No, man, no, in the West. Oh, in the West, oh. In the West, in the West. And can you tell him that Ebola can be transmitted sexually? Well, it, well, as we said, body fluids. Yeah, man, yeah. And but, tell him that the medicine that the doctor used was one that built the immune system, so it will definitely help Ebola patient. Or the medicine that him, that him yeah, say was, immune, was used immune. also for HIV. But, Jerry, yeah. when we worry about Ebola, we should. Yeah. Is that thing, you ever hear about the VHF, one in Venezuela? What, what, what that mean? What, that what? hemorrhagic fever, Venezuela hemorrhagic Come again, fever. come again. Venezuela VHF. hemorrhagic fever. Mm -hmm, VHF. Yeah. That, that killed you within 72 hours. Yeah. Ten people had been killed since three months now. Down there, there's an outbreak. And how it spread? Uh, well, they are trying to find out if it's viral or it's bacterial. Yeah. But one thing is sure, all those who had died, they ha all had chikungunya. Oh, yes, sir. So we have to look on that here, Jerry. Yes, sir. Respect, man. Listen to your program as usual. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure. Thank you very much. Um, right. Two heads can frequently be better than one if the two heads are thinking is true. Well, let's go for a break and come back straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Are you there? Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, Jerry, me again. Yes, sir. Welcome. That's only a simple point. Yeah. Yeah, when, like when somebody call and say something wrong, you must try and correct them when they don't know better, you know. Like what? Mr. Fox, a while ago. Yeah. When he said doctor saved 2% save of the 27 people. 2%? Yeah. You know, so that one, that percent is a slip, him did say so? Eh? Him did say so? Yeah, man. So 2% of 27 is how much? <laughs> Me don't know less than 2, though. Eh? Less than no, one. man, it's about half. If you reach half. <laughs> no, hold on, let me see now. Yeah, man, a half one. Two percent at two. Two percent at twenty-seven is about half, a half a person. Yes. You bet me? Me not bet you. The math figures can't lie, you know. But no, what? No, what your math say? What your math say? Eh? What your math say? I agree with you, man. No, no. Tell me what your math say. Oh, how much? God, how much? Tell me how much your math say. All right, let me work it out. Five, ten percent to that, two point seven, five into two point seven. Yeah. Yes, still less than half. Sure. You're right, how much? Man. How much? How much? About how much? Little bit over half. Little less. Teeny. Less than half. Little less than half. Yeah, well. Yeah. Then you never hear some people in uh, America say so them name one percenter. <laughs> eh? Never really hear that. You never hear about the one percenter them? No, Some sir. people on Wall Street, say Wall Street business. Oh, the way, that's how them get out of business. But we are being practical now. We are not half a person that really exists. No, but support them half, him half save them. Eh? Are them, um... <laughs> anyway, joke, fun and joke aside, where are you now? No, see, no, that's what I was just telling you, not to, for correction, you know? But I never even hear, I never even notice when him says so. Yeah, remember, we are keen listeners, you know, we listen to you every day, you know. Yeah, but we, me, but, but you say you can know more than me, too. Yeah. Maybe you know, no, I go first say maybe you know 2% of what me know, but that would be a disrespect. No, no. Maybe I only know 2% of what you know. Hey, I'm going to tell you something, you see, Jerry. Yes, sir. You know something blind, you see? But me I see me kind of half know. Eh? I half know. Yeah. Me here and me kind of believe. And you know something blind, and me I see more now. Yeah. If you understand me. Yes, yes. Because some things I used to just... So you are doing more with less. That's right. That's right. Fly, 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 what's name? Fly, Morris. Yeah. You better watch out, you know. 
Yeah, Our next thing is take away the Senate, and then after that, the next thing is become the first disabled prime minister. <laughs> no, you have disabled prime minister before. That's true, man. A lie? Eh? What do you mean, eh? What's the man thing? You don't want to say boss. <laughs> you don't want to say boss, the man thing. We don't know about any. You don't know about outside of boss, you don't know. I know in America, you have one president, when invalid, you know? Yeah, yeah. Was that invalid? Yeah, man, yeah, man. I want to show him, 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 him win a record amount of election right. till him have to pass a law against, against it because he win four elections straight. Okay, that's why they bring in the two terms. Yes, then not hear him I win too much straight to the handicap. Stop with him the handicap. Oh, you remember? Then I told him he's a king. Now, Russell, let me remember. You go on like you remember. No, me no, man. You're trying nothing for me, you know? Eh? I'm going to the next one. All right, I, I try, I try things for me, man. Good morning and welcome. Come in, say I must know Roosevelt. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Yes, morning. I was, I'm just, I'm listening to the program for morning. Yes, ma'am. And I heard a man call earlier. Yes, ma'am. And he talked about um, the man that died in the hospital. He went there from a Tuesday night, I think he said. Yeah. And he was crying, crying, crying. And nobody paid him any mind until the Wednesday yeah. when he died. Yeah. So I'm just thinking about it. And I said, what if, even though he wanted, what if Ebola should reach here? If that man don't have any disease that could pass on to those doctors and nurses that they don't pay him any mind. Yeah. If through Ebola should reach here and somebody have Ebola, would they pay them any mind? Well, that is the thing now. And you know that um, in it seemed to me like in terms of the Ebola threat and to, and to do anything about it, yes. one of the most urgent things is to watch the ports of entry. Yes, yes. Then now you have some place that is not really a port of entry. But people come in there plenty, like all from the port and close. Not, coast, not not especially through plane crash, yes. but through um, the, 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 the the people who the people who come in by way of um, you know yes. stowing away our refugees coming from Haiti mm -hmm. and them places. Yes. And um, it's really something to 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 sober to sober yeah. up. You just come to my mind. You just cross my mind, and I said, let me call and just share my opinion. I mean, I put any special um, emphasis on the danger of people coming from Haiti, you know. Yeah, man, yeah. But the fact is that, the fact is that, um, for, um, travel. Yes. Travel is one of the most efficient ways of spreading this. Human travel. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, ma'am. Thank you very much, son. I love the work you're doing. Keep up the good work you're doing. Yes, ma'am. You called before? Yes, I called one time before. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yes, ma'am. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Morning. How are you doing? Fine. I'm all right. Yeah, long time in a car, but may I listen, man? Yes, ma'am. Um, the, the, the gentleman was talking about the lady. You didn't give the lady. You didn't spend more time with her. No, him say I was, him say I come, come like me kind of ridicule her, she has said. No, 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 no. I know him say, Mr. Small, if you sound like that, sound like that, but I tell you about Yeah, because you're not afraid. Right. Yes. She she was finished. Yeah. She was finished. She finished speaking. She said what she had to say. Yeah. And she said and she said a lot. Yeah. Of course, she I give her I give her I give her a little extra time too. Uh, yes, and she did finish what she she, she was saying. I, I mean, maybe if she were, she would have to just start repeating. Yeah. She, well, she did repeat. She did she did repeat a few things. But no, what that is not what um that's not what alerted him. You know, what alerted him is when I when she told him about the spray. And I asked right. and I asked her more than one time how long how long after they dropped down did she check back on them because I want to find out if it does incapacitate them, it might drunk them it's and then them recover. I've seen where um mosquito destroyer drunk the, the mosquito. Yeah. And somehow in the mosquito find a way. I see it all the way. I see I see it all the way. Yeah, so you're right when you ask her if, did you check to see if they are dead? Yeah. No, that, that, that is right, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. But I, it's not, it's not, um, I don't think it, it is prejudice why I make that comment, you know. And, 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 no, I, I'm not saying that either, but I, I'm saying, but afterwards, he himself was saying that apparently that she was finished and she was in a hurry to leave. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If you listen, yeah. you, you didn't say to her, oh, I'm after to another call now, you know. Yeah. You never said that to her. No, she, her call, so she, she was she finished. She was finished. Oh, and the, uh, about the great ring of the, the PRC. The PRC, yeah. I, I would never buy, first of all, I don't, I, I didn't know the food of the, the busy until, until the other day. Yeah. I've never seen it. Yeah. 
I, I don't know if I pass the tree and don't know that it's a busy tree. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody, I asked somebody for some busy and I thought they would give it to me. You know, it looked brown. Yes, it are brown look. Right, after it dry. Yeah. That's all I, that is, that is all I know about busy. And I saw a green food right. resembling a small pear. Yes. I saw a green food resembling a And when it opens, it looks like the pear seed. Then it gets dark. So it's... If the tear seed is dry, yeah. they can grater it and fool people. Oh. What I'm saying is oh, because it turn that color. Oh. Oh, I hear this now. Hear this now. You ever see the color of Coca Cola and Pepsi? It, 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 has a, it has the look. Well, that is where Coca Cola and Pepsi original. After a while, they put in color and make it stay, you know. But the original yeah. Coca Cola and Pepsi, that's where it get the color from, you know. Because it's busy. Them get yes. that whole flavor and the whole taste from you know Coca Cola and Pepsi you know. Okay. What is what is it? What is the African name for them not there? Cola. Yeah man. That's cola where them, that's where them get the cola in you know, a Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola you know. oh, oh, But the Coca Cola and cookie and mix with, with with busy and some other things. That's why I call it Coca Cola. You know say Coke they denied. Then what the short name for Coca Cola? They have a trademark in you know. Coca Cola have two trademarks in you know. One is Coca Cola, and the other trademark is what? Coke. Coke, right. And then now the little slogan under the trademark name what? It's the real thing. Yeah. So they have play upon your mind, you know. Say, are the real Coke, yeah. real cooking, or are the real Coca Cola? But them play yeah. upon your mind. And, w and one more thing. Yes, I remember you saying you wouldn't you wouldn't buy it greater. Yeah. Just like a kid. Yeah. Unless it's, it is coming from a family or a relative where I know have a kid. I yeah. don't buy a kid unless I see picking. I pick it myself. Yeah. I pick it off a tree. Yeah, that's it. Uh, then next time we'll elaborate on that. Thank you very much, yeah, ma'am. Yes. I don't buy a kid with gas tonight. Oh, no, no, no. You know, so when I can open gas inside it. Of course. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, yeah, ma'am. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Let me leave a text message, please. Uh, why are the people let me hear them message? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Jerry. Yes, sir. This man who claim he's correcting me. Yeah. I don't want a correction from him. All the while you're in my war, I don't it's want... It's so so personal. His yes. correction is so personal. If I said something and you know more, don't say tell Fox, tell Fox. I'm listening to the program and listening what they say. It sounds so personal. Yeah. And I do want none of those zealots correct me. None yeah. of them. They are zealots. Zealots. They, 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 they are zealots. Hold on, Mr. Fox. Case, Look at Mr. Fox is a man that will for research. And you can't expect everybody going to know the things that you know. So I'm no, asking you. I'm saying, no, you're not listening, good. I'm listening to you. But I don't, don't talk. <laughs> but I'm asking you now to explain to the people what is zealot. Zealot? Yeah. Is People that see so political that they can't even see farther than some face to the ground. No, well, all right. What you say is true, you know. That definition you give is, is fairly accurate, but not everybody know what you know because you do a lot of reading and research. And, and the word zealot come from the word zeal. So they have over amount of zeal and only the zeal them pay attention to. So you call them the people what again? Zealot. Zealot. Okay. And you have a next one named name Zealot. You know that? Yes, yes, Jerry. You know what, Jerry? We we must make the politics reach at a stage where we can't we can't deal with it without we have to criticize and and, and take it personal. All right, okay. Well, anyway, I don't I don't like the tracing between me. No, it's not a tracing, man. No, you, I, you, you I know, know this, you know this man too, you know, Jerry. Let me know him like coming know you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Anyway, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Next one, morning, welcome, Straight Up, hello. Yes. Welcome, go ahead please. Yeah man, good morning. How are you doing? Yeah man, I straight up a talk to you. Oh, oh, oh from, from Sablamar? Yes sir, yes sir. Where are you going Jerry? Fine, fine, thank you. Yeah man, I want to say bless up to your straight up family. Thank you very much. Yeah man, I don't like the well, arguing from the from station, because my station and I don't yeah. like the arguing. Well no argument is not bad, um, but, but <laughs> it's the, tra the tracing now. Uh, by the way, how the road, the road soft now? Yeah, not now go on the road right now. The road oh. dead. The road dead. But we give thanks to life. All right. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Um, yes, Jerry. I'm a earth strong today, you know, Jerry. Oh, yes, sir, to me. 
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Anyway, me, me, um, what about um, something here? Um, yeah. What them call them again, man? Um, Describe it. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you them first always call them on the place on the man in time. My name again? You mean Wilson? No. No, Garnet. Garnet, yeah. Garnet, yeah, man. Come to him? Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, favorite, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Me, 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 always. You him, him, him come on this morning already? Yes, man, him come on, man. Ah. Yeah, me kind of come on, me kind of catch it, catch it, the program late this morning. Yeah, well, man. And my, him yeah, call um, me the woman, I'm so sure Next well, thing now, Jerry. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the weird thing we have to talk about, um, um, yesterday with Junior. Yeah, I'm not sure I've gone it, come on, go ahead, though. Yeah. Junior. Um, yeah. um, the wheel thing this, uh, yesterday with me. With me the wheel? Oh, Jonah, Jonah. Jonah and the wheel. Jonah, eh? Yeah, you say, um, you think there's a case like that happened before where you, where you know, but you sound like me not know if I'm sure. Or I'm Hold right. on, Let, let's go for a break and come back. I'm going to check out and see if I'm sure. All right. Yes, welcome back. Are you there? Out. Yeah, man, we have a minute. Yeah, man. Jonah. Yeah, check out for me. Yeah, Jonah. Yes, um, I don't, I don't remember what exactly I said, but I wouldn't be surprised if there, if that, um, if that thing happened to other people before where they were swallowed by a large sea, sea animal, whether whale or shark. Well, shark more likely would have bite them up. Cause I don't think sharks swallow people without bite them. But yeah. I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if a whale or, any, or some other large, um, sea animal swallow human being before and human being escape out of them. Either, either as a result of the animal being killed shortly after and them open up the purse, the, the, the animal and find the person or the, or the animal belt them out back. Because uh, hundreds of thousands of years of human history take place upon the earth already and upon the sea. You know? you yeah. Yes, sir. I wouldn't be surprised. And then now, as we said, and as I was going to say, and I didn't remember to say it, but somebody called and said it after, right here in Jamaica, earthquakes swallow up people already. And a little yeah. more the earth to open up back on the person get 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 out back out of the earth. So I could have that them I call the shark then. No, just like how the land do it. Land is the, the earth is a living thing, you know. Yeah, me know. And that. the sea is a part of the earth and the sea is a is a living thing also. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. surprise if it happened before. Okay. I have to go now though, here, sir. Alright, then. Call again. Yourself, so yes. Go listen, right? yes, straight up. Good morning, welcome to to straight up, hello. Morning and welcome. Straight up, hello. Alright, we're gonna read some text messages now. Morning, Jerry. Can you get a res representative from RGD to come on your program? That is the revenue, the registrar general department. I think it's a registrar. The person who is um, in charge of the birth certificate processing and all those things. Yes, we can again. Next one. Jerry, can you have an economist on to discuss what would have happened if we never joined the IMF and just consolidate and just focus on Jamaica and build from within? Yes, we have done that before, and we will do it again, yes. Next one. Mr. Small Kayla has a nice rate of voice, though. Tell me something. What is wrong with the Yankee Rasta lady who always called? I haven't heard her in a while. I don't think that means that anything wrong with her. Maybe she just have give, um, maybe she just have give her a break because I will put people jealous of her, and then too much people love her, so she don't know when to call and when to not call. I hope she soon call, though. You know call, though. Next one. Jerry, call us. Slim, the former owner of Clara Phone Company, or Carlos Slim, is the richest man in the world and not Bill Gates. I know, Bill Gates has been the richest man in the world once, and then it go up and come down and he was the richest again. It go up and come down, just like how leeching money go up and come down. I don't know which rich person money now go up and come down. All even the rich people money go up and come down more time. It's true. Next one, Wilson can't play for, pay for internet, but him get money to call every talk show every single day. Yes, good morning and welcome back to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, what's up, sir? Yes, sir, welcome. Yeah, morning. Go ahead. Come on, I look a bridge and then I run taxi down a town and shout you, man. Oh, oh down up near, nearby what, theater? Yeah, man, it'll be to one at a time, man, for all the reason. All right, yeah, man. Well, listen to every day, man, but about a year now, we're not calling you. Ah, true, man. And just a call of time out and lock up in my car, I'll call me after I look out for the police, then, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, do you give them a lift? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, look over, I look over, I look over, robot thing, I look over, 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 I look over,
so I look out for them. Anyway, I told quick thing, I really call a call in and say something about the peer seed and yeah. with the busy people, I'm a great at the peer seed. I real thing, you know. I saw me here. Yeah, man, I real thing. So, so people, people are getting tricked. Yeah, people have to be aware of it. Yeah. You know? And, and next thing again, yeah. I say like all oh, this mad rush of this chick V virus. Yeah. yeah. I wonder and I hope say, boy, some of them pillars we are take. They expire. What do you think about Yes, that? that's a danger. <laughs> you know, it, it just cross my mind require me I say because it's mad rush and so yeah. who knows? Yeah. So one has to be careful about of course. that. So. Of course. Mm. So we'll see a program all the way. I short up more while. Yeah, man. I have all the things for this. Yeah, man, it's a good way. I, I don't come park up down there. Good. Yeah, but I, I want to let if you come from um, certain street side or you can come cross, you know. Okay. Because the police put some big black in the way, because they said they have a black way out. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, it's just that they can't stop the river from flowing, you know, because I want some, to try to stop it, it's going to run somewhere else. Yes, man, it's you know. Yes, sir. Because the bus system, you know, the bus system is there. Just one bus run like from downtown to Rallington. Yeah, so, Rallington, yeah. You yeah, know, and all the people travel well, busy, side. busy, busy. Mm. Thank, so, you. Anyway, thank, yes, sir. thank you very much, yes, sir. And big up yourself. Program great. Thank you very much, yes, sir. All right, cool. Journalists, them call me. Our sir. journalists, yeah, man. Thank you very <laughs> All much. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello, Jerry. Good morning, how you doing? What's up? I'm, out. I'm blessed. Eh? Yes, Jerry. Jerry? Yeah. Who want to know what is Antichrist? What is what? Antichrist. Oh, you ask what is Antichrist, and now you are called people Antichrist <laughs> since morning. Me, are you hear me here at all people Antichrist since morning? Oh, and just first thing you say, you like the per First thing you say, you like them. You say you like the gay. You, will, you say you love the gay. And the next thing you say, the gay are Antichrist. That means you in love with Antichrist and ask me what is Antichrist. Antichrist is your partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. You haven't been before the Antichrist yet? <laughs> oh, Jerry. Jerry, listen, Jerry, because Jerry, the you know said Jerry, the Holy Spirit put it down here. No, even now, you're good enough. Yes. Jerry, the Holy Spirit put it down here to produce, right? And if them now produce, Jerry, them is like, you know, is, 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 is she don't pan it, she don't lower her, her show this on her to me. Hello, Jerry. talk up. Jerry. Talk up low there, sound like you don't lower. Jerry. Go on, Jerry. go on, go on. Jerry, all right now, Jerry, let's say, the Holy Spirit took the ear to produce, right? Yeah. And them now produce, Jerry, that means, say, the world have done, Jerry. The way you argued me about that, for. That means, say, the Jerry, me, no, I'm not arguing with you about it, Jerry, but me, I'm going to say, it's all right. And them have some errors. Then if it's not right, you know, stop. Said, Hello. If it's not right, you know, stop, do it then. <laughs> Jerry, listen to Jerry. Yeah. A five, a five. What? Five kids now, Jerry. Five beautiful kids. Jerry, listen. I don't, I don't hear what you said. Shout five, what? Five kids. Five, what? Five <laughs> kids? You have five kids? <laughs> eh? We have five kids in it. <laughs> yes. Okay, go on. <laughs> oh, God, Jerry. Let me get one more. One more, what I'm saying. Jerry, yeah. anyway, Jerry, they have something else to say. Yeah. What we want, how we have to here we do. Call me back tomorrow. Is that this yes, I agree. Yes. Call me back tomorrow early. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Welcome. Mr. Small. Yes, sir. What one? Yeah, the richest man in the world, you see? Yeah. His name hardly come in the media, you see, because they are there in corporations. Yeah. His name Evelyn Rockchild. Oh, what you say? He's the advisor to Queen Elizabeth. Eh, power. Yeah. For everything, man. He, he's our, our, our personal advisor. Yeah. He's a German. They own banks and they own, like, um, JP Morgan and all of those big oh. corporations. Yeah, they right. don't come out in the commercial world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, them run things. But another thing I want to tell you, Mr. Small, there's a hidden agenda if Ebola should come here. They call it the pecking order. If that disease should come here, it's only certain people going to get treatment first. Yeah. And the inferior people who are considered as insignificant, like the pawns, like me, we will die by the wayside. Yeah, you predict that. Well, you know, no, no, I kind of, no, no, I kind of, no, no, I'll see more call. I'm going to try to fit them in because I need to hear more about this. So call me tomorrow yeah. earlier, you tell me about it. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. 
Welcome. Morning and welcome. Straight up. Hello. Yes, morning. Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, uh, first time calling, sir. A true? Yes. Man. yes, man. Welcome. Yes. This is the first thing I want to talk about. Now, we don't want to talk about the Prime Minister. Go on. Move away. Move away from that other person. Move, move away from that other person. I don't hear you. Move away from that other loud mouth there. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm away from it. Yeah. Yes, I want to talk about the Prime Minister because I want to know what's really going on how it's going. You have, you have some sites that were a part in Spanish Town and other areas in the, in, in the, in the local island here which can put some local modern day touch and, and at least have it as a local viewpoint for the country. I don't know what, what's really going on. So you can put some work to that. What you call view? What do you mean by viewpoint? That those, those um, historic sites where, where like um, the, the old courthouse in Spanish Town and those things could put some little modern day touch on them and have them as some viewpoints for tourists. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm wondering if she, if she have any persons that could talk to her and get those things across so we could get some more money for the country and we survive because time is really hard right now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I was wondering if I could get that across and some other things too. Well, she can go near thing and I, and I, well, I don't know if it's true, but there, there are some cases of Ebola at KPH. Yeah. Yeah, but the signs and the, the symptoms were like um, chicken gun so they, they, you know? Yeah. They it, they All the right, here we go. Call me early tomorrow. And we, we might have some few by that time. Good morning. Welcome to the up. Hello. Good morning, Jerry. Welcome. Hey boy, I'm getting sabotage from this program and many times. I'm coming at the evening and even a while ago, I get sabotage. And so, plug, plug me out. All right, look, you know. Uh, Jerry, you know, you know that the government must take this thing as serious and I'm making friends and company with the tell people foolishness. You listen to this program here in the evening, the time we reach 5.30. And you hear some Giabi speaking, you know, man, because yeah. you see when Agisha said government have money for in a house interest, other thing, and let us take it and clean the street. Then still one come and I criticize. All right, but here, here, here is now. They don't have yeah. no money. Yeah, but here is now. You are one of the most regular call upon that program. So, so you say, yeah, yeah, you hear me? I'm gone. I, 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 feel like, I hope him call back tomorrow. But anyway, I want to thank him and thank uh, my producer, Tanya Richards, the production assistant, Shoshani Daly, broadcast technician, Kevin Williams. And before that, Davian Robinson. Thank you very much. Straight up. Broadcast Jamaican and New Star 93 FM now gear the news in the Jamaican language. Good afternoon, my name is Andrew Wright and these are the news in the Jamaican language. The Director of the Public Prosecution, DPP, tell the Independent Commission for Investigation, Indicom, to collect more information in the case, where claims that some of the police them in a Clarendon are part of one dead squad. As according to the report, Sergeant Mario Taylor and Constable Shannon Allen work with the Mobile Reserve, that are the police them were deal with strike and when enough people come together and go and bad. And them are just two out of the level police were Indicom charge when they did a looking at the dead squad business. The report claims that the police them killed one man when he was Adolphus Reader. It said they shot him February 28th last year after they, did, after they did in our argument on 7th Road in a Clarendon. Indicom claims that the gun when they take off a reader did link to our next attack where they go on at the Mepen Hospital when two men in a mask shot and killed one patient. Two other policemen get charged for the same hospital business. One virus when they poor side epidemic diarrhea, PED, reached North America. Because of that, the Ministry of Agriculture attacked to the people them who benefit from the pig farming industry. They have put enough, enough things in a place to make sure that the virus not spread. They said the virus mash up in the pig them gut because they forget bad bad one in belly and dry them out. Donovan Stanbury, who are the permanent secretary for the Agriculture Ministry, said they watch the port them to tap the virus from reach of Jamaica. The virus reached 30 states in America already and killed more than 7 million baby pig. And news from the Caribbean, the Bermuda government set a plan to change up their work permit law 
so them can cut down upon all of the things them where people have to go through to work there and that I go show the Bermuda ready for business. Michael Fahey, where, where are the Home Affairs Minister, said the government talked to enough people who know about them sitting there and saw them come up with the change them to make fine business come at Bermuda. He said them all and make some new type of permit for the company them when they need to pay tax. The Housing and Land Development Corporation, HLDC, where in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, built up some house in one place named Clear Valley and now them have to say sorry to the people who own some of the house them because last month one of the house them dropped down. The people them who own the house them been a cost said them two and three bedroom house a shake, the drain them no good and the house them no make good either. Them a cost more because them say when them go HLDC head office in a Kingstown, the people them will work at the front decks near no of deal with customer. HLDC built up the house them under the new housing plan where the government bear make. But on September 19, one house where one Dr. Katisha Douglas Livina just dropped down so. Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez said the house dropped down because HLDC never build the house them good in the first place and they never deal with the drain as though they should have deal with it plus the type of soil will make up the area. The government said they were going to build one new house for Douglas and they were going to fix the problem they were every house have in that the area there. And news from fine. The United Nations UN said the Islamic State fighter them in Iraq do some wicked things to some people who go against them human rights. UN said for nine weeks from July 6 till September 10, the Islamic State fighter them do some things to people who should have never gone even though a war never fight. UN said the leader them for Iraq need to work together so them can take back everywhere where the Islamic State fighter them are control. My name is Sanjay Wright and that I did the news in the Jamaican language. Broadcast Jamaican and New Start 93 FM just gave the news in the Jamaican language.